we will pick up where we left off here. Um, I decided, I mean, I still feel like the sewers have like a lot of things going on. So I think we'll save the sewers for later. Um, but every single step, every little building and all that has so many things happening that kind of feels like no matter where I go, um, where you warned him? Why is that tagged again? Uh, but no matter where I go, it just seems like so many things are happening. But yeah, I think we'll save the sewers um, and maybe keep exploring the town a bit. So we never got to actually go to the mortuary, so we'll do that and then kind of like sweep down here. Um, got another murder target. We can check out the presses. But yeah. In terms of like distance traveled, it's going to be Never so to short for path. distance traveled for all the things that we're doing here. I am not leaving until Lily has a good damned coffin. I'm sorry, but our is he baby echoing? girl... Our baby... I know, love. I know. If you're here for a burial, good luck. The carpenter around back claims there's a backlog. We asked for a child-sized coffin. But I said it'll take a month. Well, I mean, there's a lot of people being killed. Kind of understandable. Um, so you lost your child. I'm sorry. Seven years of age. And murdered. What kind of monster hurts a little girl? <laughs> Shush, love. We're going to get Lily a coffin, all right? Give her the burial she deserves. Um, oh, our protection. I was like, wait a minute, I know it's a new buff. That's right, our protection from Will. I'll we have moss. I think the mortuary. What's up mortician? discussion? I'm sorry for your loss, but it will be a ten day before I can take your departed. Maybe more. If you notice any odors before then, treat the body with jasmine, honeysuckle, whatever you can get. Sounds like you're pretty busy. Well, there is a serial killer on the loose. Business yeah. is booming, unfortunately. Hello. Nice day for a walk. So you know who the serial killer is targeting? Can't say. There are a hundred theories, but I see no pattern in who comes through me door. Mind you. Fear is taking more lives than any one killer. The whole city is on edge, ready to draw steel. Are you aware there's some strange things happening in the graveyard? I deal with the dead, but the Mortark tends to them and the living who mourn them. If you have any concerns about strange goings on, kindly speak to her. She patrols the graveyard. We already spoke Good to her, day. but I think we spoke to her before we talked to those undead. Maybe now we'll talk to her again. Breathe it in. I mean, nothing, okay. Nope. So there's just random undead walking around and no one seems to care. Okay. Odd. I don't need to get the weed moss, we're fine. Um, Gravekeeper's Journal. Alright, time to skulk about. Free for the taking. Breathe deep and move. Nothing of importance. Nothing out of the ordinary. She's just a uh, normal old gravekeeper. Can't slow down. Feel sad about dealing with parents, dealing with their dead child. All right. Uh, so now we'll sweep up this way. 
Uh, we've been in here, so it's going this way. Lovely day for it. Listen, I got to concentrate if I'm. Oh, I know him. Very talk to him. Uh, get these two. I should speak up. You've got to talk to the locals if you want the true story about Stelmane's death. The Gazette would never print all the juicy details. Oh. You eaten at the Elf Song before? Awful, just awful. I had a stew there once that looked like it had a finger in it. Tremendous. Alright. Uh, we never actually went out this way. Just loop here and do this. This here is worse than ever. What do you have to do to get a drink around here? Talk. Tears balls. Just lost the best job I ever had. Easy work in the upper city. But you don't care. And why should you? Sorry I said anything. Okay. <laughs> On days like this, I miss the forest. I used to scamper amongst my woodland friends, if you can believe it. Here, not a squirrel in sight. Fellow ranger, maybe a druid. Uh, we have you. As long as they do their jobs, they can... We'll come back. How are you talk to you? Fear not, friend. The days of us proper Baldurians walking these streets in fear are over. Lord Gortash made that very clear in his latest interview. I'd recommend giving it a read. We're waiting for the um, printing press. Why, I'd spot the wearied gaze of a fellow Baldurian anywhere. Cheer up, friend. Mm -hmm. Our city's entering a most wondrous age. One of steel, of smoke. Of efficiency, and we've Lord Enver Gortash to thank. He does start right here. Okay, we've been told by a reporter to uh, come to the Gazette or something to to learn about what they're writing about me. Only Lord Gortash has the strength to protect our city. You. You two must submit to Lord Gortash if you are to be saved. I've always enjoyed reading that myself. No, we are not censoring the mouse. We are simply doing a routine inspection. And no, I cannot sell you a copy. If the Steel Watchers had eyes, at least you'd feel like you were being watched by something with a soul. <laughs> These writers sure do have a lot to say. The amount of trees they must have cut down to print all these papers. And people complain about the Steel Watch taking up resources. Huh. Right, uh, you... I keep telling you animals if you want to buy a gazette talk to the loud little shit screaming headlines i deliver the papers i do not sell them okay uh have i been in here i have not the map Nortail's shelter refugees welcome okay welcome if you've need of a bunk or a bath, you'll find them upstairs. I'm grateful to be here, I am. But I thought we'd arrive as a family. Not like this. <laughs> the soap here smells funny. No need to look so glum. You'll be clean and comfortable in no time. Embarrassed. Nothing back here. That's curious. Found the pouch. That's interesting. I'll be fine. Letter from Scarry. 
Hey, mouthy friend, couple of colleagues confirm your timely trip. I left you something in gratitude. Okay. What path lies before me? Good luck getting some kip up here. I'd stuff your ears if I were you. Uh, nothing else? Okay. Out there. Uh, I got Gar, we got Zeta. Seems like a good moment to talk. Look, I just packed the papers. If you've got a complaint, editor's inside. I don't think these guys have anything to say. Uh, so again, this is the Gazette to go into. Any of them important? I don't think so. They're just again making Listen, the papers. Pal, if you're not moving my share of broadsheets, you're in my way. Shift! Yeah, alright, so we inside. Uh, what the hell's this? Baldur's Mouth. Baldur's Mouth. That's the name of the place? Alright. Oh, it is. All right, Baldur's Mouth Gazette. Got a lever. You ever heard of this many guards for a bloody broadsheet? It's ridiculous. Well, this is all stealing, obviously. Uh, you can go up. I guess that's what the lever is for. Just fly up there. That's just to get into there. She kind of could fly up there. Uh, let's see. Hey, cut it out, will you? I've got deliveries to manage. We've got an elevator door. Doesn't really look like an elevator to me. Oh, actually, it is. It goes down, I guess. Okay. down here uh let me give me some guidance because clearly at some point we're gonna need it breathe deep and move don't know about you but them big metal bastards really put me off my flow damn it damn it damn it still missing one link Oi, shove off! Don't be peeking at my scoop. What's up for discussion? Well, well, if it isn't the city's next celebrity, you star in our next edition's top story. I'd rather not be in your paper at all. Anonymity is helpful in my business. Well, you should have considered that before disgracing yourself in public. Trafficking refugees into our city is hardly a good look. Especially when so many are absolutists and murderers. When do I traffic the truth refugees? We'll be out with tomorrow's broadsheet. People will spit in your face. Your very presence will be bad for business. You'll be a pariah, an outcast, as you should be. And then, we can only hope the fists do their duty and escort you to the gallows. Your days of scumming up this good city streets will be over. I'm guessing this is about like that, uh, when I walked in the house that the people were living in. I negotiated a deal for both of them, but okay. Hmm. What do I say here? A bribe? Threat? Or just tell him I've done far, far worse? You know, you know what? You know I've done far, far worse than that, right? Oh, really? Oh, I'm all ears. My quill dipped, dunked, and ready to tell the world whatever you wish to confess.
Bite your tongue, grant them mercy from your horrible tale. With great difficulty, you throw aside the desire to toot your own terror trumpet for this smut peddler. The headlines are loaded into the print works already. Tomorrow, you will feel the power of free speech. Vox Populi, Vox Dei. No. Guards! I believe our distinguished guest was just leaving. Would you care to escort them out? I might reload so I can keep exploring. See? Yeah, see, coast. it's locked. Alright. So obviously I could, I'm assuming, sneak in there some other way. Um, but once I get seen, I'm getting in trouble, I'm sure. This would be another way in. Uh, getting up here. Maybe from the roof. I may play the camera too well, but I assume that's another way in. Uh, up there. Let me see first if going in there like triggers them to freak out. But obviously, stop the presses. Must stop it from printing. Oh, earthquake. I think it's going to be too high to fly up. I mean, we could, I'm assuming, fly up to here. I don't see anything up there. Also, we have Jahira, we can't fly. Oh, we can just fly straight up top. Oh. Okay. I'm just gonna do this solo, this is just gonna be a test again, because I feel like they will freak out about me being in there. Not fine path. Can't find a path of just flying up. Yeah, I can fly up here though. Okay, whatever, I'll take it. Let's see if they care about me being in here. Yep, that's expected. A okay. Area. A swift exit may be in order. That's fine. I'll have to find a way. We got the elevator, so maybe I can sneak in. I don't think anyone's looking at it. We'll look around as long as we're going to talk to that guy. I'll give it a shot. Best be on my yeah. way. Let's see, I've got double doors there. Guard, which goes down there. And doors here. That seems to go outside. That is not outside, so that's definitely something. Uh, and right now... Don't want to draw any attention. Save the game. I guess that's one of those ones where they just magically turn to look at me. But I don't think I actually saw me somehow. Okay, actually worked. Alright. What is in here? You've set foot in a restricted area. So they I think they're seeing through maybe the floor or something. I don't know. Because there's no vision cones in there. That is annoying. Thank you. Unfortunately, if I go in there, even though there's no vision cones, I'll yell that. Going. 
Uh, in here... I guess it's the uh, Steel Watcher. My best bet is up here. Okay. Who knows if you can even use the elevator. It kind of gets crammed. It's not a door, right? No. Save. Just out of view. Right tool will do the trick. Alright, well she didn't care about me uh doing that. Moving in. But again, this is one of those ones where they just always turn to look for some weird reason. Afraid I'll have to ask you to stop there. Only Etfarad's allowed to use the basement elevator. Alright. But that might mean that she'll just Don't magically attention right now. I mean we have cones of vision yeah, in there that Oh, there is a fucking window, so I guess that that would explain it. So we're getting trouble for doing this. Tempers are rising. Yep. It's clear not everything you okay. Find, is so it, it turns out no matter what you do, you get seen. So even if you get thrown out. Huh. So this is curious. There must be a way in from like a uh, maybe the sewers, the underground, or something. Because there's literally no way down. Without fighting everyone. Even if you go invisible, the second you interact with something, you're no longer invisible. Alright, that's unfortunate. These windows. Who's even looking out the window? I don't even know who can see the- you? She can see. Hmm. You can't like stack shit up. I'm assuming you can't stack shit up in front of her. These I don't actually know. Seen everything. I mean, I don't have anything to pick up, first of all. I've never tried this. If you stack like barrels in front of someone, does that block their vision? I don't have barrels to stack anywhere here. Here. That's stealing, of course. I am so glad you asked that. <sighs> Need an experiment. Any of this stuff not stealing? No, it's all stealing. This one an experiment game. Damn it. There's actually nothing I can do. Uh, here's a water barrel. Might get picked up, that's one thing. And there's another one. Let's see if this obscures the vision. Otherwise, I don't really know how the fuck. And there has to be like another way. Even in here, it's bug where they shouldn't be able to see anything. So there's no cone of vision, but they still somehow see me. Nope, doesn't obscure it. Unfortunately, that is a shame. Damn. That's just perfectly placed, too. Alright. Um, I'm gonna reload just so they're not there, but I'm just trying to see. Before we reload, uh, the lever should only affect lowering this, which I don't know why you would lower this. Unless, like, you sneak in at night or something, so maybe at some point. Well, I mean, you can't, like, trigger night and day in this game. I mean, if at some point they're gone. But, like, why would you need that? Sucks. I think that Steel Watcher is the one you can see all the way down there. Which is just insane. It's a 
shame. There's unless I use th there actually was a little point right there, depending on my angle. Uh oh, not moving. I might be able to. No, this isn't gonna work. This calls for careful footwork. Softer than a whisper. Oh, it didn't work. Oh shit. And now I'm here by myself because of that. They try to run around solo if it's just an area to explore. We'll see. Of course, if I get seen, I'm fucked. Well, we have plenty of save slots, so I can just do this. Alright, do not turn, please. Alright, so that's plenty. Run down, go into a door. Ooh, that's not a lot of time at all, actually. Okay. Goes nothing. Hopefully, I can find like a sewer entrance or again some other entrance to get the party in here if needed. But again, the party might make things even worse. Going. There's a metal door. So this is probably another entrance. Let's see. was that check about? Oh. Oh, that's from there. Okay, well, it's a good thing I saved. Alright. I don't think I have enough time to sneak past him because you go so slow when you're sneaking. Light on my feet. this Someone's trying to give them info on the uh, stalemate murder. Otherwise, mostly just a bunch of people who are upset how shitty the uh, <laughs> paper is. Alright. It's not gonna work. But. No, I wouldn't have had enough time at all. Holy shit. I wonder if, if I fly, I will. I just don't know if fly makes sound or anything. It doesn't. Okay. Quickly. Okay. Oof. Now I can't see their movements, but... Alright, for now, I guess. I guess. Go. Let's see what this does. And hide in here with it open. Is it back that way, maybe? Oh, uh, the objective is to talk to him. 
I hope that I can like cancel it before. appears to be a test print of tomorrow's okay. board sheet. Numerous corrections are marked in red ink. You notice one of these corrections scrawled in the margins. Whoever's tampering with the printer, stop it. You're wasting my time. The content of the broadsheet is troubling. You feature heavily in the central article, lambasted as a danger to the city. Absolutionists infiltrators threaten the fifty Gorlash. Okay, I can't change it though. Not yet, so this still might not be the room. But this sure looks like the printing press to me. <laughs> Pretty sure this is a room. Um, but there's nothing to interact with. The block has a board sheet article engraved upon it. Ah. It speaks positively of you. Okay. So I can load that in. These things aren't highlighted at all. I'm going to have to like actually... What's hiding? Go on everything here. All right, so I've got the uh, call it like the cast. It's got loaded in. I mean, it could be possible this is an old printer. It does have spider webs all over it, but like, it shouldn't be. Don't know how to load this in. Load into the printers. Have to figure out how. Yes, indeed. I do. There's nothing, only a crate, which Looks is nothing. Empty. Yes. Or something. I think it's just like a book or whatever. He's not printing. And unless it's not here. This room. I don't think there's anything in that room, but oh well, we're gonna have to. I don't even know how to get past this because he's gonna walk back and forth. Alright, let's find out. You turn and look. Yes, go, 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 go. Oh man, I was so close to the end of it. Alright, so I'm gonna have to speed into here. For now, I'm just gonna cheat and look. Okay, good, so this is where the printing press is. Um, man, that was as fo fast as I can go, as far as I can go. I was right fucking there, dude. <sighs> okay. I have milliseconds to make adjustments to this. I think if I start from the right, I have that extra fucking two milliseconds that I need. Wow. How are they... There's not even a check for stealth. Do they have, like, C? Some sort of assignment, like, C invisibility, whatever. How do they know? Guaranteed. I don't know. But somehow there's not even a check for my stealth. Alright. That plan is to open the door. To fucking beeline it. There's gotta be some other way in here, but... Oh well.
technically maybe you can attack them and no one notices, but I don't think that's the case because they're all going to be connected like a hive mind type of thing. Nope. Okay, so I have to be from the left side because it goes angled directly to the right no matter where I go I'm going to get seen. That's a shame. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait here. We almost made it the first try, but I just wanna wait and see. Cause I would go. Oh, now suddenly I don't have a path. What? Oh, cause he's not even fucking going where he's supposed to there. Well, he's supposed to look to the left. He never did. There's nowhere here that is safe. Huh. Okay, if you sneak behind him, I bet. Does he turn left or right? That's that's when I go. Yeah, okay, you gotta do his right. Gotcha. That's all. And this is where I rushed out before, and... It, I feel like I would've had time there, but that's okay. Now I know which way he turns. NASCAR. Always turn left. Oh my god, it's so slow. Jesus be. fucking Christ. I click the button, it's like, wait, 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 wait. Now you go. It's like, jeez, man, can you just fly when I tell you to? <laughs> Holy shit. Unfortunately, they were in much better positions before I save. So this has been the case the entire game. When you save the game, for some reason it fucks up the uh, AI uh, positions. They're not saved where they were. So it actually really fucked up the timing of this. So it's gonna make it a lot harder. Oh, wait, it, re it redid it again. This is actually not gonna make it easier now. All right, cool. Much better now. Yeah. That might be worth a look. Wonder if the gods are watching me. All right. Save. Um, I'm assuming they can't hear me. At least I saved. That's so I can in my back. Swift as my feet can carry me. Your spouse be a secret cultist. What's inside? these to all molds we're going to call them uh transfer that later so step one load your headline once the auto printer is loaded it will animate begin pumping out copies step two endless profit if someone's messing with the printers to add mistakes
they fired one of the writers who is uh, not in line with their new policies of everything's totally fine. Go up there, bam. Ah, uh, so this article's shining commendation of your deeds. Nice. Weasley words weave a terrible tale about me. Commendation of your deeds. Oh, Are these the same ones? No, these are different headlines. Same description, though. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, literally different headlines. Interesting. So we have two good, two bad, one that completely ignores us. Hmm. I'm going to do the one that completely ignores us. This one is the cutest cat you've ever seen. Okay. I'll load that one in. Dave. Approach the printer, noting its ink splots and intricate cogs. Before you can get closer, however, it begins to speak. Oi! Gormless! Over here! Thought I recognized you. Dolly 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 was right. You aren't much of a looker. How do you know Dolly? We both love cheeky words. She does all the shouting, I do the writing. This is my paintbrush. I make sure everything that's in those big, ugly article blocks becomes fine printed artistry. I'm a master pensman, I am. Dolly can't stop talking about you. <laughs> hero this, hero that, hero here, hero there. <laughs> Hello, hero. You know, there's some absolute filth about you in tomorrow's edition. <laughs> Seeing as you were kind enough to free Dolly, how's about I do you a favor? So Dolly was the fairy we freed from the, the lantern. Headline. We can load up something a bit less damaging for your reputation. Interesting. He knows the uh, fairy Dolly. Okay. Uh, sounds good to me. Well, first, I've got to release the old nasty top story. Look there. <laughs> now... You've got to find a new article to replace it. We got one. How delightful! You just can't you've ever seen. The editor will be in for a surprise tomorrow. Paper's printing right now, pal. Should be on the streets tomorrow. Okay. All right, and now we can just fast travel out of here. I'll make things a lot... Okay, we can't fast travel out of here. I guess that makes sense. Breathe quiet. Move with that. All right, but now... As long as the timing is not terrible, it's not. Ah, uh, it kind of is. It kind of really is terrible. Fuck. I hope I can get into that room. On my way. Fucking switch to Shadowheart. Jesus fucking Christ, man. If turn based worked here, it'd be great, but I feel like it's not gonna freeze them. It, the timing's not gonna work, though. It's literally impossible to get past this, because the second I try to go through the door, other guy's gonna see me. So, again, I gotta keep reloading safe till the timing window is back. So, this is a one time where it literally is uh, game breaking that. <laughs> The AI uh, movement changes when you save and load. Because you can get in such a risk where it's literally impossible to do anything. 
How's that one? Okay, that one, see, that one gives me plenty of time. That's all we needed. This one's going to be pretty difficult, I will say. So unless I'm allowed to make noise here... Let's see, I'll save the game and find out. React to it, so I think we're good. Further can I go? Can't risk being in open view. Yep, seems like we're fine. Alright, now we're good. He turns this way, that's why I go to his left. How is the timing here though is the thing? Quickly. Never wanted the easy go, 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 go. I'm clean, I'm clean. Thank god. Holy shit. Ooh, wow, that guy almost fucking sees me. Okay. Do you not? Communal use, it, seems. it clicked on the door. Like, Jesus fucking Christ. I tried to walk out the door. Hey man, welcome. Had a stealth situation, which... There's nothing wrong with it, other than, like, you know, things like that, where... I'm walking out the door, but instead the game makes me click on the door. Which then makes me open the door that I'm not supposed to open. Rare case for having a move button and not interact button would have been more useful, but that's why I saved. Don't waste there. a step. Now we're good. Okay. Awesome. We have now changed that about. <laughs> Those barrels were still there, but oh well. Uh, good. Let's just check out the next edition. Perfect. Save. Uh. How do we want to sweep this area? Again, I already told him. I don't even know which specific quest it would be to say to warn them. None, apparently. Alright, whatever. I, I warned him. Um... Hmm, again, I could sweep down here. Or we can just keep going in this direction. Let me just keep going down this way, fuck it. Yeah. Fine, we'll go this way. The hostel's up that way. You won't find better around here. Unless you can pay for it. This uh, building can go in. Camera. Uh, old jewels. This is Joel's house. No letters, no clerics, no herb sellers, no potion peddlers, and no steel watch. I lockpick this. Okay, so you full of things to sneak attack on. I mean, there's a lot of people seeing everything, but yes, there are a lot of things to uh, go after for sure. Cook that being seen. Let's skip. That might be worth a 
look. Oh, Better some chests, eh? Hey? Wardrobe. Need to find a way forward. Out of sight. Out of mind. So the chest key isn't for the chest. Interesting. Quickly. All right, so I don't know what that chest key is for. Uh, that goes to her. Nothing important. All right, interesting. How much do these things weigh? Two a piece. At the ready. I'll sell them when we get the chance. If, you ask me, I don't think if this lot have got a problem with the Gazette, they should take it up with the editor, not make a scene in the streets. Seems like a good moment to talk. Borders Gates never going to be safe with the absolute out there. Why would the Gazette lie to an entire city? The paper says we're safe here. But we're not. We may as well be outside the walls with the absolute. And so how do we want to go up here? Or do we want to just go straight down to here? I'm glad you asked. This just keeps going. Oh man, it's such a big city. Holy shit. Um And there's someone to warn here. I'm just gonna start going down. Uh, was it a defeated steel watcher? Oh, a broken steel watcher. A tag wired to it reads, "Unit defective. Return to the steel watch foundry at the west docks." Interesting. I mean, we already knew this, but okay. to get those cabbages into the city. No, you're impossible. Who's complaining about someone stealing his cabbages? Yeah. It will roll for this. Okay, let's go to the left, I guess. We're not lost. Just taking in the view before continuing on our way. The lower cities are bloody warren. I'm surprised anyone can find their way around. Yeah, I mean, looking at this place, you can see why this area has performance issues, specifically with CPU, because so CPU has to deal with all of these people hard. moving at all times. Even though, like, you know, at a certain point, it stops rendering them or something, they stop doing the animation. There's still a lot of shit happening at all everything. fucking times. Flaming Fist investigation underway. Stay back. There's a murder target in here. Um... See if we get in trouble for shooting it. I don't think we will. The humble home of Frank Pear Tree. Down the stairs. And oh, what's up the stairs? Oh. Hmm. What's that? It was already murdered. Nothing else. Alright, so we got parchment. E. There's chess. Another key to the hatch. Yes. Must be below in the hatch. Oh, courageous little Kimabeth. It says it's a human, but that thing's gigantic. 
Like, look how big he is compared to other humans here. Huh. That corpse is huge. And is that a burning heart? Calm's arm. Dribbles, no doubt. The Dribbles arm? gathering his parts. So I did have a quest to uh, gather all of Dribble's um, body parts. We've got four now? Hand, torso, arm, and pelvis? Open up. I started storing them in camp because it's, they're just so heavy it's not worth carrying them on us. some of the shit that we got here. Bloodstained parchment. This is the uh, kill um, list we know about. Been updated for some more people who are dead. I think, unless it's the same ones before. Bloody note. This was on the guy's corpse. You've been picking where you should. Placing fire spears throughout the city. I walk through your basement here as I pen this rather large. The effigy of Yaga Shura. What use his heart? He thought himself a titan, but died whispering for his mother, Orin. Oh, so Gortash wrote to the uh, guy that was killed. Your house could be improved. I have an offer. I, I possess infernal iron. I need assistance distributing weapons forged throughout the city. So he was offered uh, a role by Gortash in uh, arms dealing, assuming he said no, which then got him killed. I wonder what the next move is. Looking at right, so set the uh, clown body part to camp because they're all time so to press ahead. ahead. All right, what's in here? Weapons. No oh, this must be the key for that. Okay. It's a short sword. It's a plus two, but it's still just a short sword. Nothing special on it. Gortash wrote him back again, uh, writing to extend my gratitude. Oh, so he actually agreed. He did. Okay. So he actually helped Gortash distribute the weapons. So maybe he killed him to silence him. Interesting. Um, and again, a finesse. We'll see how it is for either of those two, but seeing as it doesn't have any special effects on it, Wherever might not be go, that great. Um, be obviously, it's one more damage. Um, now, to be fair, I'm not really using the special effect of this, because she's not concentrating on anything. But if she was, this would give her 1d4 
Whereas this gives her obviously the plus one to attack and damage at all times. So she really would only be losing, on average, one damage. And this gives her the one attack and she doesn't have to concentrate. So I probably would make that switch, but let's just see for Shadow Heart as well. So it's going to be better damage for Shadow Heart, but Shadow Heart's thing gives her a summon, which we haven't used, but this is an extremely powerful summon. Um, more importantly, also gives her the uh, spell DC. So yeah, I want to give this to Jahira. Oh, hi. Bam. Alright, that makes sense. Now the question is... Which one would I rather have in the main hand? I guess I'd rather have this in the main hand since it has a higher crit. Bam. Okay. Still breathing, despite everything. Alright. There's no time to waste. Still alive. There you go. So it is a generic plus two that actually was better. Light on my feet. Okay. Camera's just freaking out here. Don't call me right. Go on, before I make you. Okay. Oh, we're not allowed in here for some reason. Of course, he's watching the door. Huh. Wonder what that's about. Whole area is kind of being guarded. It looks like. Interesting. I should speak up. Shouldn't go wandering in dark alleys. Very dangerous of me. Gets people killed. Why? Your Farling's friend. I thought thieves kill. Okay. She said to let you in. Funny little gnome she is. Always laughing at me. Even when I don't joke. Come, I'll let you in. My pleasure. Oh, wall slot. Before I change my mind. Okay. Here's the nine fingers. Good luck. Who let you through? That's grunt. Bloody idiot. What is happening here? They stick to sunnier streets. Heavens forbid they disrupt any of that guild business they're so well paid to ignore, hmm? Guard corpses here. Uh... My grief to tell you, Will. If I were you, I'd turn around and walk right over this alley. Now! You hear us talking, but what's she saying? I grieve to tell you, Will. Oh, he said the fists aren't what they used to be, and she said they never were. Okay. Oh, so this is the way you could have snuck into here. Okay, but I'm allowed in there now on my own, so we're good. Look at that before we go into there. Yeah, that's the Thieves' Guild down there. Of course, we told Maul she should go to the Thieves' Guild, but then she was kidnapped. Uh... Nothing here. Interesting, so maybe I do want to go up here then. It looked like there was a platform here once we change elevations. One thing about the camera. Sometimes it just hides things like that. Uh, there is a platform, but I don't really see anything there. I don't think there's any reason to go in there. Alright. Uh, so, I've got Night Shift Report. I can't read for some reason, so okay. Come on, merchants. 
Give me some good stuff. Oh, oh, what the hell happened? Oh, the door is hiding. This is the guild hall. The guild hall has one rule. All crime stays in the city streets where it belongs. Break this rule and you die. Okay. Uh. Oh, you rancid bastard. <laughs> See? Mine's fresh. Welcome to the guild hall. Faerun's finest festival, as long as you're not sober. Or able to smell. Okay. They're all on the same side. Mal is here. So she was kidnapped. How'd she get out? We never found her. Holy shit, Mal's here. The guildmaster hired you, yes. But I think it's best no. if your gentlemen keep to themselves. There's wow. nothing... Look who it is! Glad to see you in the city. Hope you found plenty of coin in Ketterick's coffers. Ready to do some business? Oh, good. So you better give me an option to ask how she got out. Uh, so this is all stuff that I sold her, it looks like. She doesn't have any actual gear on her? It's a bit odd. Okay. How'd you escape Moonrise? I survived the hells when Elturel fell. Compared to that, slipping out of Moonrise was child's play. I didn't even see you in there. This is a guild business you're running? Sure is. We work for Fetcher, handling what you might call pre-owned goods. Talk to Sticky. He'll cut you a deal. Good. Don't bug me. I'm making plans. Big plan, see? Alright, so here is Sticky. Seems like a good moment to talk. Fetcher isn't himself, so I'm running the shop. You buying or selling? Maybe a bit of both. Okay, we get some dye. Lots of different shades of red. A uh, cloak. While hiding, the number you need to roll a crit is reduced by one. Oh, that's pretty nice. Now it's get stacks, so I have the hood for that too. So I'll have to roll an 18 for a crit. Okay, there you go. Perfect. Definitely like that. Okay, let's see. Flash blinder. That's really the only thing they're selling, but it's actually a very good thing. Holy shit. Sometimes stuff we sell comes back around to us again. So watch yourself. Got me? Okay. So because it stacks with this, uh, when I'm hiding, so all I gotta do is use my bonus action to hide, my crit now goes from 20 to 18. So I have to roll an 18, 19, or 20. So higher chance of getting crits. Awesome. And really, in this specific party, I'm the only one who would use that. Obviously, with Carlac, she would also use that. Uh, but she's not here, so we don't have to debate who gets it. Definitely useful for, like, the only thing that that kid sold. On my way. The Professor. Right. Which crew are you with? Bellbreakers? The Children of Hall? The names ring familiar. Two of the many crews that make up the guild. A loose collective with ties to every criminal enterprise in the city's underworld. Neither. I run a crew called the Worm Skulls. That's us. The Worm Skulls. And you hear it. Can't say I've heard of you. Spare me the story behind the name. I'm sure it's very scary. 
fair warning. The Guildmaster wants no fraternizing with the Zentarim. They're here to work, not share war stories. They won't be much use to us if they're drinking and dicing when the Stone Lord kicks the door down. Can you tell me about the Stone Lord? The latest challenger to the guild's position. We know. But probably the first one to actually make us sweat. He came out of nowhere and ate up half our turf in a ten day. So if you're speaking to the guild master, maybe step soft around the topic. Hmm? Well, maybe the guild master can give us more info and we can keep dealing with it. Upcoming knife fights. If it's Uktar you're after, he's in with the guild master. Not even Nine Fingers Keen can escape the great balancing of guild books. Not stealing. Uh, I don't know where the guild master is because I'm trying to go there last. I feel like guild master's up there. But I can keep looking around here. Yeah, looks like we'll do that last. All right, so we'll go over here. Nap bone. Your eyes are going to want to wander all over this gold. It's only natural. Just make sure it stops at your eyes. All right? Guild Hall is not what it was. No gambling, no blood games, not even a pissy little peacock fight. Bored. You won't find much fun here today. Guildmasters batten down the hatches till the Stone Lord problem's dealt with. I'm sorry, sweetie pie. I okay, we've seen like three quest. or four. No, I think we've seen four Dragonborn, this. and three and of them have been gold. Alright, here's some coins. Very kind of you, sir. I'll be dedicating the next Keening Elven Ballad to you. You look like the type to enjoy one. Thanks, but no thanks. You can get near anywhere in the city from here without seeing daylight. Once you don't mind the tangy smell of sewer. Next to the sewer, makes sense. Look now, the guild master's little hunt is bringing all sorts of new faces out of the woodwork. The guild's no army, however tough they act. Just 20 different thieving crews come to hide behind nine fingers skirts. Do you hear the harpers were half wiped out? We should be sticking the last of their bleeding hearts instead of guarding this place. The mood I am in, boy. <laughs> I urge you to try. Yes, said you hear us with us. No disrespect meant, Mom. Uniform's a bit patchy, I know. I was flaming fist. But the writing's on the wall there. The steel watch will be snatching up our contracts in no time. Okay. Head down. Get back around. Go on. Technically, I'm supposed to be on watch. Maybe that's why this Stone Lord is pushing so hard. He wants Keen's underroads all to himself. Bit of a letdown, this place. Uh, so let's be other than looping back to everywhere. That's curious. On this ring. Just a ring. Knife fights. Uh, this goes back up to the left. Nothing to the right. So, yep, nothing here. Looping around, we are just about done. Hmm? I know times are tough, but this crowd could mingle a bit, eh? We're all on the same side. 
I mingled with everyone. Don't give me that squinty side eye like all those paranoid guildies. Nine Fingers is well respected in this interim. If the Stone Lord's pressing in on her territory, we're here to help. How's the guild feel about you pressing in on their territory? Missed the welcome parade, did you? Hugging, tears. It was just lovely. True, we've been better liked in towns we bloody conquered, but it's hard to blame Nine Fingers. On top, undisputed for years. Then you have to call the likes of us in to protect you from some shithead calling himself Stone Lord. I'd be embarrassed too. Okay, now we can go up. around the steel watch. The old guard gave thieves a slap on the wrist, but those bolted bastards whew, will rip off the whole damn arm. What's the point in paying the guild for protection when they pull back all their crews? There's a bloody army coming. Before you ask, I ain't got none of that plum Prosecco. Now, what can I get you, newcomer? You gossip? Around here, silence is golden, mate. Best remember that. Now, what can I get you? Uh, you have clothing. While drunk, you have advantage on constitution saving throws, temporary HP. Eh. Alright, that's it. No distractions, mate. Nine Fingers has me watching over Pierre Priss here. Wants our friends and Parliament close with this new Duke making moves. Bare hands. Okay. Don't mind the ladies' court. Just a game we play. Figuring how we'll kill you if you cross Nine Fingers. Oh, I'm so scared. What, Lady AQ still playing that game? I don't have one ready. As the guild master, let's just talk to everyone else first. Knife. A hot one, I think. Okay, so that's why she meant bare hands, like how she would kill. Yeah. Uh, I can steal some of this stuff. Letter from Gortash when he was an arms dealer. Basket in and out. Alright, uh, so that one's important for a quest. The Stone Lord plans to rob the Counting House, and Nine Fingers means to trap him there. Let me read this really quick. So they know that Gortash um, is aligned with the... Uh, they don't know who Orin is, but you know, Orin's with the Ballas leader and all that. Well, she is the Ballas leader. So they know a lot more about him than others. Uh, so this was important for some quests here. Uh, this is to the Guildmaster. Uh, just taken delivery of a special deposit box. Yeah. 
Yeah, so apparently the Stone Lord's trying to steal something and they're gonna lay the shrimp. So we learn that a diabolist named Helsick helped Gortash open a portal to the Hells. So gotta track her down. You know, Stone Lord is trying to rob that place. That dribbles his body parts. We learn that there's a ritual in the Devil's Fee that can open a portal to the House of Hope where we can take the hammer. Uh, oh. Okay. So this is one of those things where the journal spoils something? Spoiler! The Stone Lord is Minsk. If we're reading this journal correctly, because we're, we're playing to ambush the Stone Lord at the Counting House. And this says we're playing to ambush Minsk at the Counting House. House. <laughs> uh, house. So it sounds like Minsk is the Stone Lord. Okay. With haste. Uh, let's me. get guidance. It's an orphanage, Ukta. What would you have me do? Seize their toys as payment? Well, they failed to pay tribute. We should withdraw our protection, at the very least. And cede more ground to the Stone Lord. <laughs> You're not suggesting I yield a single inch of the city, my city, to this cult. I... We already look weak. If you're seen to be forgiving debts... I didn't say forgive. Seize the building. Are many children old enough? If they protect what's mine, we'll consider that a start on what's owed. Yes, Guildmaster. I... Excuse me? This is a private council. Keep your underpants clean, Ukta. We're playing host to a hero. You owe me a gold piece, Grandmother. When I heard you died out in the wilderness, I made an offering at Kalimvor's well. Of gold? Oh, I did not know I meant so much to you, Guildmaster. No, I'm terribly sentimental. Case in point, I've just let a harper walk through my guild hall, noticeably unholed. Because I'm curious about why you're here and who it is you've brought with you. I'll let her do the talking. This is the one who saved my life. So really, he owes you your gold piece. But we can settle that later, Nine Fingers. For now, we need help. We're searching for Mints of Rashomon. A big name, that. Such information does not come cheap, High Harper. Not in normal times. Of course. Seeing as these are not normal times and we're all such good friends, I'll do better than tell you where he is. I'm bringing him here as we speak. Or... parts of him, at least. I gave no orders about the condition of his goals. What treachery is this, Nine Fingers? Have you thrown in with the Absolute too? Against my own city? Careful. You're in very real danger of hurting my feelings. It's Minsk who's found his faith with Faerun's newest god. And a new name with it. Stone Lord. This is where you find that out, but of course, the journal spoiled it for us. But okay, at least we found it out immediately afterwards. Um, what makes you think he's showing the absolute? Maybe he just doesn't like thieves. I, I considered that. But there's a pattern to his strikes. An intent. In his short reign, the Stone Lord and his crew have earned a reputation. Pure brutality. No survivors. And where he mows my people down, this ripe little cult takes root. But not for much longer. We have word on where he plans to hit next. 
And you'll find us ready to hit back this Oh, time. she just tells us Learn everything without having to negotiate. This is all stuff we learned in the uh, stolen notes. Call off your ambush. Tell us where he is, and we'll handle this. We? I heard what happened to your harpers, Jahira. I'm sorry, but this fight's too big for you alone. This all makes sense because, again, I haven't played the uh, first two games, but what Jahira told us is last you saw Minsk uh, was when they found out, you know, the uh, the absolute cult and whatnot. Um, she left him there. And I theorized, well, it makes sense then he either died or if he somehow lived, it's because they kidnapped him and, you know, um, brainwashed him with the tadpole. So it makes sense he's now serving the absolute. She's not alone. She has me. If you're half the friend you're posing as, you'll tell her that her part in this is done. The Stone Lord's fate is sealed. We have a bigger war to fight. I'd rather turn our talk to that, but if you need a moment, Jahira, well, you've earned that much. My guild hall is open to you. Have a drink, Jahira. Have a rest. Just leave well enough alone. It would be a shame for the city to lose two of its heroes in one day. Okay. Well, do we know where this is? Oh, I gotta go upstairs because we're down below. Alright, anything else I can talk to her about, possibly? Keep the Harper out of trouble. Just because I don't want to kill her doesn't mean I won't. Beyond that, be welcome. Be merry. Is there something you require of a friend? It's surprising there weren't really many merchants down here. Uh, so what can I do to help you? Keep me from having to kill the Harper. Which means keeping out of the guild's way. All right. Wonderful. I ran this some of your thugs. The Riven King rats. Oh. Did you enjoy the encounter? I don't think they enjoyed it. I have no doubt you gave them a good talking to. The rats usually keep a lid on their nastier notions, but with the Stone Lord business distracting me, some are starting to test the leash. All the more reason to be rid of the cult quickly, so I can remind my crews it's not a leash round their necks if they cross me. It's a noose. I need some information. Knowing what I know usually comes at a cost. But let's say we'll put it on your tab. But how's it you know so much about the cult, the absolute, and its leaders? Simple enough. After Jahira warned me and then disappeared, I went nosing into the cult for myself. I could bore you with the details. How I found evidence of Gortash's projects. Traced him to Orin the Red. So she even knows the name Orin, okay. bet there was some dried out old necromancer to round out the three. Because it's always the dead, bloody three. Has been half-gods who can't help but make their irrelevance everyone else's problem. More to it than just the dead three. Oh. You've got some juicy little tidbit I haven't heard yet. No, I'm not going to tell with the prism. Nope. Right. Well. War to be fought. Do you need anything else? Alright. Did I find the uh, guy with the oh, mask? Yeah. Probably not. Yeah, it's just surprising. We only had those like two merchants, really. We only really sold like two things. Oh, here he is. You are not known to me. For supplies, seek the bugbear. To trade trinkets, the fetcher's brats. I am Ukta, 
duly elected guild bursar, and I will not have my time wasted. Right, that really is oh, it. Is that what Nine Fingers was doing earlier? Wasting guild time with this stone lord business? Hmm. You might say so. I could not possibly comment. <laughs> I sense there is no love lost between the two of you. I need not love to serve. You have a point you wish to make. Interesting Jahir is helping out here. The quicker I deal with the Stone Lord, the quicker Nine Fingers gets back to business. Hmm. I have not come so far by indulging in petty disputes. But I am open to transactions of mutual benefit. I am interested in gaining access to vaults beneath the counting house. Good. I'd pay well for keys to those vaults. Provided said vaults are uh, not emptied prematurely, of course. <laughs> I suspect that what you seek might also be found beneath the counting house. I tell you this only as a matter of mutual interest. She plans to ambush Minsk at the counting house. But what the hell would he want there? What you do with that information is a matter for yourself. Now, back to the vault keys. Do we have business to conduct? Oh, so he told us information that we already learned from her and from the note. I thought he was giving us the keys to do this. Well, I have no keys right now. Until you do, then. So when we go there, I can choose not to loot the place and give him the keys. Interesting. Uh, yeah, that one right there. Um, revealed that Nine Figures plans to ambush. We know that. We need to get there first. So yes, it's literally the same thing. I mean, we got from the note from him and from her herself. <laughs> Alright. What else to sell? Yeah, there it is. Fetcher isn't himself, so I'm running the shop. Alright. We got a small section here, like a little corner down of the map. Yeah, it's not go down this way. What's this? Ag survivors. Where is that on the map in front of me? That's why I haven't gone in here. Spattered with rust, you can just make out the words Tina Turkey's Good Time Bazaar. Stuff here. Here's one. Always room for more. Is this? I think this would have been another way to sneak into the guild, but maybe not. Lots of reports here. What was this person doing? Perception failed. What's next, I wonder? At your command. Someday I will sit down. 
That might be worth a look. Can't get up now. Do the same things that we read from uh, her office. Anything of use? If not over, then through. Here we go through that. And we have. What did I see here? The hatch, or is it a button I'm not supposed to move a box off of? See what happens. Since we only get one shot at it, give me the highest chance. Let's see what's hidden here. Someone offering their services. Okay, yeah, so he's working with the um, Thieves Guild here. This is just a like, bunch of intel they're getting about everything going on. Yeah. Who gets, who they're watching, things of that nature. Guild ring. The generic guild ring, I don't know what that's for. This is all like a cool bit of lore, how certain gangs are fighting and all that, but nothing I really think when you go over here. But tons and tons and tons of world building here. And he's like basically the spy master of the uh, deal it sounds like, or at least he's getting a bunch of notes from people who are doing that kind of stuff. Yeah, he hid guild rings in his chest, so I guess this is another way to get into the guild. If you know you didn't meet them before, you present them with the guild rings. You didn't hear that? Let's All right. see what this does. None of this was considered like being bad, but I'm assuming it's because I was already in there. Otherwise, you have to lockpick this without them noticing. Okay, um, so, this quest right here, help the hag survivors, this was a note that I read, um, I mean, as it sounds, survivors of the hag, right here, we found a poster that mentions the meeting for people who survived the hags. Property in constant use, gathering strictly prohibited. Let's see. Why do I think this is set up by the hags? With a flick of the wrist. So they can get vengeance on the people who have survived them. Hmm. What's that? Section checked on eviction notice. Yeah. Here 
here we go. Cled found the place. Nice old man named Mr. Garlow used to live there, and neighbor says he doesn't live there anymore. We can hide from the hag or fight, whatever you think. We have hag research notes. Okay, so these are all books they want to read about hags. These are some sort of alchemy stuff they're doing. Maybe things to fight hags. Okay. Eviction notice. I've had it. Snowstorms inside the house. Are you trying to fight back against hags? It's great. Can't risk the neighborhood. Keep your rent. I want you all out by tomorrow. So they were kicked out. But then we hopefully... A letter. Yeah, son him Cled. There, we'll make our way over there eventually. We slowly make our way down, I guess. Okay. Help me to jump down, we're just trying to take her time. Waypoint. Oh, okay, good. Um, so up there is the suspicious toys. So the first thing we did, well, not the first thing, one of the first things when we came here, we uh, dealt with that guy's house and then we went in his basement and we found out he was being forced to make explosive toys. This is where they're going to. More earthquakes. Uh, we have some dead bodies. That's odd. Little alone found his forks gutted. Didn't see it happen though, thank the gods. City's on to some proper sick bastards. Unfortunately, I can't look in their pockets. I, I got lost. And then when I found mommy and daddy again, they wouldn't get up. What happened that quickly? Interesting. It's that quick. Oh, poor kid found his parents like this. It's a tragedy, yeah. But it's not like we can look after him. <laughs> Maintaining temperature. All right. Steady at the moment. Uh, so let's head in. Are all these fists here for a reason? I wonder. Because not near the corpses. Is busy with their patrol and has no time for idle chatter. We are patrolling into shit. God is busy with that patrol. Alright. Bet you a million the steel watcher wouldn't allow. 12, 13, 14. Oh, rats, I'm short. Alright. So here we go. Let's check this out. For Logan's to investigate. Fireworks. Once it's lit, you commit. Just in case there's any immediate checks. There goes nothing. Pressure steady. Are we at temperature? Smoke powder smell. It smells so good. He's a bit of a genius, isn't he? At sales, not fireworks. Of course, it helps to have the only license in town to sell the stuff. We need to change out this barrel. Seat. Any torches, matches, wizards, or other sources of open flame, keep them unlit, please. You don't say. No open flames in the fireworks place. Shocking. Pipes are looking a little rusted. Are we scheduled for maintenance? Faces, hands, and eyebrows. How do we protect them? Watch for wind direction. Put on your gloves. And... A light at arm's length. Very good. And what does Uncle Philogear always say? Once it's lit, you commit. Excellent! Now remember, Philogear's fireworks accepts no liability for singed nails, toasted eyelashes, loss of limbs, scalded torsos, or blown off heads. Now, you there. What can I do for you? You feel an all too familiar squirm in the recesses of your mind. He has a tadpole. 
Okay. Ah, a fellow friend of Gortash. Praise the Absolute. I have a special sample available just for you, if you wish. I have those die. Oh my god. Wow. So, you have throwable bombs. This one inflicts color spray, which is blinding. Okay, they all do color spray. Oh, that makes sense. Thematically appropriate. Of course, it's going to be a deck save and color spray. This one doesn't seem to be affected by their health, which the spell color spray is. That's kind of cool. I'm not buying them. Um. Sure. Why not? This one will be very useful against any and all enemies of Gortash. Be sure to be clear of its explosion area. Please enjoy responsibly, and nowhere near this establishment. Is there anything else I can do for you? What else do you do for Gortash? What else? I don't know what you mean. We schedule for purveyors of smoke powder. Anything that can be lit, flamed, or fired up. Uh, Smoke powder is a beautiful mistress. Breaks. She will not be limited to one form, and she is quite malleable in the right hands. What are you really asking, friend of Gortash? Gortash sent me a check on your latest order. I see. Then he must not have received my update. You may bring this message to him. Everything is right on schedule. The next batch will be dispatched within a ten day. Exceptional quality, if I do say so myself. The Gondians will know it when they see it. I believe that concludes this purchase order. We very much appreciate Lord Gortash's continued honoring of our humble establishment with his custom. Won't blow us up. Okay, there we go. Let everything update real quick. So he gave me arrow, smoke powder arrow, and smoke powder bomb. You. And then I also grabbed one of these throwable color sprays. All right. Uh, we still haven't done everything we want to do here, uh, so I can give him the passcode the guy gave us. This point. You want to buy something? Talk to Mr. Sunshul. This one. Uncle Felagir sent me. It won't blow us up. Ah, right you are. Head on up then. Of course, I do have to go down here at some point, which I could. Actually, right now I can't do. Wonder why. No one's looking in that direction. That's very odd. I guess he is. Maintaining temperature. Yeah, we're fine. I might want to go down there first, depending on what happens here. So we can always reload. to change out this barrel soon. Employees only, Pastia. If you're expecting any packages, they'll bring them down to you. Another right, friend of Felagir? All right. That's a skin color Just remember I the top before. falls off limits, password or not. Looking to buy a little something extra then? I smell the crackle and fire and power. What's going on Pressure upstairs? Steady. That could not be less yet? of your business. Maintaining temperature. Steady at the mark. Alright. So I can't just get up there. I'll give it Go a out shot. here. 
which is just odd to have a door going nowhere. Okay. I wonder how I'm supposed to get up there then. Pipes are looking a little rusted. Are we scheduled Back for more of Uncle Felagir's finest? All right, well, now they're looking in this direction, mm, but like, I know how the AI likes to suddenly turn to look. You're not gonna find a Try. Softer than a whisker solo. That's well, working. Steady. Just have to go solo so that. Yet. Just maintaining oh. temperature. Steady at the mark. Let's just see what happens if I stand up and get seen there. Oh, wait a minute. We need to stop them. Need to change that so I guess we have to attack. What it seems like. A long way to go still. Steady. Let's try this way. They'll send each person individually up. Stop, stop, stop. Are, you, you are we scheduled for maintenance? Can't afford a failure on a critical pipe. Uh, not critical, just a bastard if it breaks. Won't blow us up. Where am I needed? Silence is cold. Pressure steady. Are we at temperature yet? Maintaining temperature. Steady at the mark. I have to move Will just in case he blocks the path of Jahira. Alright, save and first I'll give up the advantage to try and talk to them, see if that's an option. It's not, okay. Instead, I reload. Now the thing is, I'm not sure I have to see what happens after this. If I aggro the entire building, which in and of itself isn't bad too much, but does it have repercussions outside, so there's a lot of video gamey things I gotta do here. I'm wondering how else I was supposed to like deal with this stuff. If not just outright fight them. Now, I can go in the basement, or at least I can try to, so that might be something else. Maybe I rig something in the basement. Alright, so let's see. 18... Infernal weapon, three poison damage can poison. And so he's a mage. Possibly, maybe not. Chemist. And we have all these people all over the place here. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to go back down, check out the basement. We can always reload the save if we want to fight them. I want to see if there's something in the basement. At least things have stayed interesting. You've wandered into a forbidden air. Oh my god. You sense it might be time to It's gonna be even more annoying sneaking out than it was sneaking in. Jesus Christ, man. I could just fast travel to the fast travel point and we'll see. It's fast travel right next to us. I can't imagine, like, even if I, like, let's just theoretically like say I set, like, the basement to explode, there'd be collateral damage. Like, what else could I do? Like, sound an alarm in the basement and pull them to me? That'd be, like, the only thing I could think of. I don't think there'd be anything in the basement, but I have to see. Where's that fast travel at? Here. I make you face this direction. Or perhaps 
the delicate simplicity. And then we go over here. behind that lock it's being watched closely okay so this is one of those shitty ones where the ai just magically knows to turn around even though they're not scripted to move at all um so i'm gonna have to have someone talk to him hopefully he's the only ai that turns to look at me there are one or two times where it made sense because like you know you were next to someone doing something but I would say this is far enough away that there's just no real reason the guy should magically turn around the second I'm doing something. go there have you go here to give me guidance will goes here guidance the pride of the gate Dave. will talks have you tried the lanternese candles breathe quiet move with care you got you yeah. good Okay. Shouldn't have wished to live in more but. interesting times. Alright. Now. Time to press ahead. We have double doors. Box of odd fireworks. Where you pick them up? What the fuck? Oh, they're, it's a throwable. It weighs 26. Holy shit. Alright. Another step forward. These are all going to be explosives. So far, no traps. That's good. And there's a trap right there. Gotta go solo. Can't afford to stay idle. Yeah. Uh, nothing else to be seen here? Really? That's odd. Oh, there's a lever. Another check that just went off. I thought I heard. I don't think so. A bunch of smoke barrel bombs. Okay. Is that all that's hidden behind here? Am I crazy? The button should be for the door. Yeah. There's a door here. Potentially a door there. I don't know if there really is or not. 
swear I heard a sound from over here. Um. Okay. Possibly supposed to move some of these to see if there's anything back here. Wouldn't think so. Why is it picking up two at once? pick that up. Alright. Um, I don't know how big the explosion area is, so I'm hoping I can test by blowing one up and not blow up the entire group and kill myself. I save either way. I can see that room being hidden just because of all those explosives, but at the same time, I feel like there's more to it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is a firework place, even though doing other shady shit, like, they wouldn't really have a need to hide the explosive powder because, like, they can just say, yeah, we're making fireworks. On my way. Okay. Right tool will do the trick. Oh, this is a new area. Okay. But there was nothing really down there. All right, well that confirms I have to just fight them, I guess. And hopefully it doesn't trigger anything like outside. What is review going up there? You do know the uncle. Interesting that, uh. Oh, we can't see from here, but look, there's no other ways to get in other than sneaking past, which is easy enough, obviously, but still. Pipes are looking a little rusted. Are we scheduled for maintenance? Can't afford a failure on a critical pipe. Not critical, just a bastard if it breaks. Won't blow us up. Employees are. Every time we're gonna trigger that. Come and quiet, that's the way. Pressure steady. Are we at temperature yet? Maintaining temperature. Steady at the mark. Employee. Best foot forward. Quite on the slide. Need to change out uh, his barrel suit. Employ. Sylvano softened my steps. Any spillage will be picking my teeth out of the roof. Pipes are looking a little rusted. Are we scheduled for maintenance? Done with Can't afford a failure on a so critical pipe. Then? I haven't gotten the first attack out in a while. I could blow up the smoke barrel stuff, but we're not going to. And I missed. Jesus, dude. Dude, he's dead outright. Good. Oh, 
comes now. Uh, she'll get seen the second she pops out. So, might as well have her get the kill on you. I could knock someone prone with her jump attack. I don't think it's necessary, though. I'd rather just get an attack out. Uh, and also, Will getting a kill is pretty important because it gives him the buff. So, Will should really... <sighs> if she gets an attack, Will should still be able to kill you. So, yeah. For the sake of it. Okay. Now Will should be able to get the kill. Oof, he's not gonna be able to get the kill. Oh, so yes. I want Jahira to weaken him then. Okay. How was this removed? Oh, because they gave her a new weapon, that's why. Oops. Stop it. Nothing? Okay. Um Oh, well, she killed him out with the crit. <laughs> well, then Will can get the kill on that guy, though, so that's good. Uh... And that puts him right here with these guys, which works out pretty well. Got this dude. No way of knowing like if he's a mage or anything. And we've got you. You seem pretty tough. Kinda wanna go after you. Let my enemies fall. Okay, so this is twice this has happened, so I think I can say it's consistent now. So again, Will is funky in the sense that he gets multi-attacks from two different classes. So it seems like if he attacks someone out of combat, he doesn't get one of his attacks. So rather than having three attacks and a bonus, if he attacks them out of combat like this, he only gets two attacks and a bonus. So I'm not sure which of the two is not proccing right, whether it's the... Um, Paladin one, or if it's the Warlock one, but one of those two is not giving him a second attack if he attacks, you know, from out of combat. Alright. But this is good in between both of them. Nothing Let's will see, I've got all way. my stuff done. She's got all of her stuff done. So it's Still just standing. Jahira, who has no, both of her attacks hard. and the uh, Halo thing. Um... Unfortunately, she can't do anything, even if she moves, so her best bet would be to dash to be able to shoot or use Halo, and even with dash though, she won't have enough, so there's nothing she can do. There is just Will up there by himself. Now we have people below us, so they're going to come from below, specifically like you I'm assuming. I'm, see I'm seeing them on the map. Maybe they're not part of the fight. They're just shown on the map. Oh yeah, they're not part of the fight, just those two. Okay. Um, well, the hope is they don't blow up the smoke powder. <laughs> um, but fuck it, I don't Look know. Further, ease my way. Take them unawares. Sometimes the only way out is through. Oh, that's right, I forgot there was a price. That's good. Um, well. Forever dauntless. Ah! 
Um, no choice but to keep going. A shot on him. All right, so the ones down below weren't aggroed. Interesting. That's good so far, at least. Breathe deep and move. All right. Uh, Maybe I need more pockets. Oh. Now they're aggroed. Now, see, the thing is, this is where, like, the clerk and stuff is aggroed. I'm hoping they're still bad guys. They should be, because they're working here. I mean, if I was still sneaking... Let me reload the game and keep sneaking. For RP's sake, even though you can't really roleplay. <laughs> Murdering people five feet away from someone, but still. If I somehow... Well, actually, no, we, we can roleplay it. Since we did all this via before they were able to attack, we can pretend we just slit everyone's throats. If this works out, that'd be the roleplay explanation. So we slit everyone's throats up there, then we snuck back out, and nobody noticed. Or no matter what, they're still going to come up and hear us, but we'll see. But I was thinking that. I was like, maybe I should just sneak and see if I can still, like, stay hidden. Alright, so if they still won't up here, it's all good. I'm thinking from sneaking... They might not even know. Looks like this is working, so the roleplay is... Since we attacked them before they were able to fight back, just pretend we just snuck up and... Wait. No, see, there, there's no... Okay. Someone below knows I'm stealing. Even though they shouldn't be able to see me. That's the problem. So this is another bug of, really two bugs. First of all, people are seeing through the floor, but also it's not showing their cone of vision. So, double bugs here. We just loot the corpses and hopefully no one magically sees that. Sight in this game is very bad. Yeah, at times, because again, they can see, in this case, you can't see their cone of vision, and they're also seeing through the floor. Yep, see right there. That person's just yelling thief. Alright, so is it even worth stealing this stuff? Infernal Mace. On hit, the affected entity deals additional three poison damage. That's actually really nice. Now, to be fair, unfortunately, it's not a finesse weapon. But yeah, I'm not even going to loot the bodies, but that is nice. Because there's also some sort of, I don't know if it's a ring or something that procs with the poison. I can say this, if I really wanted it, I could always just spawn it in via the uh, cheat engine because, you know, we can just pretend that I looted the bodies. But I don't think I'd even care about spawning it in because it's not finesse based. Um, in terms of like one handed strength users, do I have any? I don't. Any of my one handers are all finesse based. Any of my strength hander, uh, strength users are two hand based. So I don't have any one hand strength users anyway. So this is a good weapon. And again, if I really decided I wanted it. I'll just use the cheat engine since technically I should be able to loot this with no problems. Um, but I shouldn't even care about that, so we're good. See behind obstacles, other directions, thousand miles away. Yeah. Definitely has some issues there. Those three bodies don't matter. At least I can pick up the uh, note without being stealing. I mean, this body is the same thing, but we're just going to have to save every single time. Save. 
nothing. I don't even know if that would be considered stealing by looking at them, but if I take nothing, it should be hopefully better. Alright, your stuff I want to take. And the person below. See? Like, this is... What the hell? We had a note on an installation report. This is important. I need that note. That doesn't update the uh, quest log, I will say. Oh, wait. Oh. Okay, he saw me, so I lost some attitude with him, but otherwise he's not actually charging at me. At least not yet. Okay, they're still yelling thief, and this isn't even stealing. This is not marked as stealing. This might actually work out, because they're looking for me down below, it looks like. I know that's needed. So far, it seems fine. Again, none of those shit had anything else on it other than the mace. So if I just fast travel here, save the game. Losing attitude doesn't matter, because attitude just affect your trade. I want to walk in there, make sure no one... So they are still marked as red. Um, so no matter what, now they're all going to be fighting me. Uh, so I think I say fuck it and just kill them. So if, if they're going to be aggroed regardless... It's alright. So it does confirm you're supposed to fight them all, just again a little derpy as to how it happens. You would think that they would just join the fight. Because again, logically, that person's right next to where the fight's happening, so you can see that that person would hear the fight, and then the person below them would be hearing the fight from that person. So I think that was more so than anything. The vision was the bug part. Which is kind of odd. <laughs> they had vision for you stealing, but they didn't have vision for you fighting. But either way, it's fine. We'll just sneak down here. My faith protects Let's go to Jahira. Turn your gaze, lest I turn it for you. Consider my hackles raised. Going. Work to be done. This is a restricted area. Time to explain. Okay, why is it? Well, this guard will be restricting you. Ah, <sighs> okay. This someone was still on the stairs when we did that. Kill them, sneak again, and then finally kill the rest.
Kill. Kill. Kill again. Oh. Okay. Swiftly, if you please. These knees do not bend easily. All right, I'm going to see again. These boots have seen everything. Dave. Kids gonna need a family, no matter what happens. And that shouldn't matter here because they're enemies. But I'm gonna let them attack me first. Always more to be done. I'm just gonna get the attack out. Good. Oh no, they have attacked me. I guess I have to defend myself. As she misses. Uh, let's get Shadow Heart. Not worth it. I will get the kill. Not enough movement to get there. Alright, so he's gonna have to use his fly to get there, unfortunately. I just wonder if there's a spot he was able to fly to. Oh. I guess move first is what it is. That you or you? Ah, oh, god damn it! Secrecy above all. If your AI is smart enough to avoid the uh, detection areas, that was good. Go ahead and have her. That was actually dumb because she can't get the kill on him. Better make my next move. I'm here. Wonder if the gods are watching. Save me. the day. That was a misspeak if I ever heard of the save the day. <laughs> Me, I forgot he doesn't have three attacks. Well, that's all right. Always this We're all good. Song. Into position. Survival is all that matters. Oh my God, he has fireball. Holy shit. Thankfully that wasn't that much damage. Thankfully there aren't really any explosives here for him to fuck us up with. Holding back. Wow. You've been terrible, dude. Well, first of all, might as well cast Aid then. It's been so long since we cast Aid. Uh, it increases our max hit points while also healing us. I upcast it because it's more, but I don't really need it. Fine here. I still considered stealing to leave their bodies. Hopefully no one else is here to see it. We're gonna save, obviously. Only take if they have anything useful. 
like this. The Mind Flare specimen. Take it all. Everyone stand up. What are you doing? Yeah, they hit it like four times. Alright, looks like we're good though. Steel Watcher is right in the doorway for some reason. These boots have seen everything. No one cared. Alright. So we got a lot. I mean a lot of explosives. We have these throwable color sprays. Which is awesome. Uh soot stained letter. No one will question a firework shortage in case of crisis. Okay, I'm working with Gortash. She told us that. G. You ready read this? Yeah. Okay, um, so is that completed? Indeed it is, okay. A little sloppy, but it's fine. The frame's dead. I already warned you, we can't do that yet. I haven't gone up here. Um, I want to keep pushing down this way. Or do I want to sweep up north now? This is the Asterian companion quest up here. We could push to do that. Plenty of time today, but it could be something I save to do tomorrow. To like maybe start with that. If today is like all about going around town, we'll start tomorrow with like a big potential event. Oh wait, no, I don't want to do that. That's right. I wanted to find the um, other vampires first, didn't I? Yeah, I mean, we don't have to, but I would prefer to. The thing is, I don't know where they are, obviously. But I'd prefer to find them first, so we'll see. Let's keep going down this way. I should speak up. Ah, oh, you look like someone who can probably read. Can I interest you in, um, uh, a copy of the Baldur's Mouth Gazette? Please buy one. Every time I buy one, it's a different one. Uh, you're selling broadsheets now, Sylvie? We're all doing our bit. Better than sitting around waiting for the gates to open. It's a really good paper, though. No spelling mistakes in it or anything. I already know where Mal is. Sure, give me one. Uh, do I jump to sell? I do, but he has no money. Thank you. My first sale. I can't wait to tell Mo. Yeah, this is one we already read. Alright. Uh, for now. Uh. I guess I'll talk to those two because it's already shown, but we'll stick to this path for now. Oh, don't worry about the smell, citizen. Probably just the drains. Nothing to concern yourself with. Probably. You can smell that, right? Bloody rotten it is! Right. I feel a little dizzy. Please, sir. Please. It's for my son. Anything would help. Any amount at all. Well, I can't give her anything. <laughs> Ooh, there's a merchant here, though. Oh, hell yeah. 
First, this connects to somewhere I haven't been. I was up top, but not down here. Interesting. Beach house hatch key. Leave me be. What? What are you doing in here? You catch the scent of death on the man's clothes, his skin damp with decay. He appears unwell. Another undead. This is my spot. Go on, find your own. I really want to know what's going on with these undead being brought back. All over town. Is everything all right? I think you might be sick. Uh, yes. Now you mention it, <coughs> it's probably contagious. Let's not to come too close. No matter. This is still the safest place to hide. It's just bad luck I was discovered. I must be patient. Brothers need me. Brothers need him, okay. If everyone else minds their business, I'll be fine. So oh, what is this place? It's very dark. Ow. Right on my feet. Tons of traps. Okay, so you can't go around it despite the game showing you a path to go around. Good to know. And now we take our time. Why can't I disarm it? There's no disarm. It's use or attack. The fuck? Oh, I can just break it. We think that'd set up a trap since you know you're tripping the wire. Lever here. Can't get in there. There's not enough space. So you need mage hand. Oh fuck. Another thing I could think of. I don't know how else I'd be using that. I don't know why I can't get in there. It's a rare time where jump would be needed. Not a lot of space. That's yeah. So mage hand's the only thing I could think of. Hmm. At the ready. No one here knows Mage Hand. Um, Lazelle knows Mage Hand, I believe, which is weird, except I think it was her, her um, species thing, but of course she's kidnapped. Uh, Gale could learn Mage Hand. I didn't give it to him. Again, none of these guys had Mage Hand as like a cantrip. I can't remember if it was a cantrip, either way, a cantrip or a spell. It's probably a spell. Um,
Huh. That just sucks. Moving really, there's in. no other way. It's a shovel. Matter. Uh. We had the thing that had telekinesis. It was like an accessory. I'm sure I don't have it on me. Let me quicker look it up and then I can maybe take it out of my inventory. Um, let me just look up telekinesis. Does the wiki tell you all the things that have telekinesis on it? They do. Uh, bracers? Is this the one I was thinking of? Yes. Oh, and it also gives you mage hand. Oh, perfect. So it's bracers. Good. I wouldn't have thought it was bracers. I would have been looking for a ring. So that works out. It's bracers. So we can go back to camp. Take out those bracers. Uh, I know what they look like based on the wiki, but maybe the image is different. Oh, it's these ones right here. Perfect. I don't think it gives you mage hand. Just if you had it, you could use it as a bonus action. I think it gives you telekinesis, which I'm hoping we can use in this scenario. Nope. Oh, that's for throwing. Oh. Again, you can't get him up there. Huh. Alright. Well, unfortunately, I have no idea how to get this. I'll have to screenshot this for later. Odd. The only thing I think of is with Mage Hand. Alright. That sucks. Hatch. I'll screenshot that, and then I don't want to make a. Wait, what the fuck? Wait. Um. Mage hand lever in hatch. Oh, I can't type it. Oh. All right. Door. Got to press on. Okay. My shield drop. I've got a long road ahead. What, 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 what? Oh, okay. I thought these people were fighting me. Interesting. We're attacked by these things. Oh, uh, I got the bug again where I can't. Oh, no, I can examine there. I can't right click them for some reason. That's fine. Uh, so 15 AC. If it sees a wounded creature, it becomes blood frenzied. Advantage on melee attacks against it. Wait. Uh, has advantage on melee attacks against any target that doesn't have all of their HP. That explosion fucked us. Oh my god. Now what does a wounded creature mean? I'm assuming once their health is low. That really fucked us. All right, there's the champion. Again, I can't right click him. Uh, it's Hunter, let me see. They're Hunter, Hunter, Champion, and then normal guys. They all have that, it's a champion. So it's between a champion and a hunter. Okay, yeah, champion is better. So I guess, I mean, I really should take him out first. No matter what, I have to use two attacks. I 
Maybe a sneak attack. Might get it. That was not even close, goddamn. Okay. Well then, fuck it. Weaken you. They should be able to take him out, yeah. Good. Some high ground, I guess. Need to find a way forward. Ready. Alright, who's Oh, I didn't see you over there, that guy. Okay. Um no matter what, we all have to attack you. Okay. For the fallen. That's where this will come in handy. For the fallen. Nah. Uh, it doesn't really matter who I go after because I can't hit you. Um, Will. I'll just help Will get a kill. You, Will, Will should probably stay here. Make this guy come to us. Will still has to get a very high roll to get that kill. Forever dauntless. Well, good shot. Today you fool. Oh, good. You did get a high roll. Perfect. Oof. Not a high roll there, though. move over in case I don't want to box that guy in. I think he should flee anyways, but just in case. Here. On my way. That was really run past me there. The viewer can't do anything. Now he's frenzied. He's not going to attack, at least. Wow. Roll the crit. Alright, so I should go after you. Wow, 65% even uh, with the high ground bonus and all of that. Alright, so we got to take out that. I won't get the kill with the two hits, but no matter what, I won't get killed, so I have to at least get the... Man. Oh, such trash damage. Orders. On him. We have this guy, and then you. Battle favors the fearless. We'll get over there. We'll can get over there. Might will prevail. Perfect. This is the rare time where I gave him an offhand weapon. He actually used it. Only the second time ever. The first time was when I said, "Oh, maybe I should give him a weapon." Let's end this. All right. Thank you for cutting those creatures down. Truly. Gods know what would have happened if you weren't here. Uh, money? Okay. What are these things? And God, do they stink. Okay, I would have had to get a high, high roll to pass that check. Oh, the guts are all over my boat. You're welcome, buddy.
Nothing hidden back here. Okay. I really wasn't expecting that to happen. <laughs> the junk. Smelly bag. Waterlog letter. If you're reading this, probably dead. Trapped underwater by madmen and fish fucks. <laughs> Praying for help. Marjorie, Quint, and Holly. I love you all. Uh... Kids. All right. Well, here's a merchant. Old Troutman. Seems like a good moment to talk. Thanks again for dealing with those so wagon. You so wagon. more than just my livelihood. Is that like an Irish? Possibly why the H is a W. Uh, so how are things here? A bit quieter after the so wagon attack, but that's to be expected. I guess the H U wagon becomes like a W sound. So I guess it makes sense. Fash mainly. The flaming fast commandeer the best of. Flaming fast. <laughs> uh, just a bunch of fish. Okay. Watch yourself, Fine. eh? God's willing, there won't be any more of those things. Oh, I saw you fighting those monsters. You were magnificent. Indeed. I think. I mean, I couldn't really see from where I was, but I bet you were. I was. Did you hear this was the best place to buy fish in the city as well? Seems they neglected to mention the sea devils. That was incredible. And just think. <laughs> What a story it'd make when fish fight back. Really? <laughs> What's that? Okay, I'm not allowed to do that up. There's not that much vision there, so hopefully, we'll just see. Oh, what is this? This is a little suspicious. Sometimes it doesn't let her cast that manly mover. What's up for discussion? Just discussing the weather, dearie. Nothing of interest to you. I actually can't see what's going on. Plenty to do and see in the gate. No need to barge. Look, and this is just cool, like show. organic stuff. Like we, I've stumbled on things where I walked past them. And you can see their dialogue as they're like doing drug deals. And then you talk to them, like, oh, nothing to see here. Just, you know, world building. You don't have to be involved in everything. Something over there. Uh, behind that. Okay, but see, moving this stuff is going to get me in trouble. I'm going to save the game, and now that that guy's not looking at me, now who's coming over here? Really? They're both just patrolling. Why is this considered bad? All right. Let's see if they yell at me. Let's keep your hands to they yourself. Do. So I'm gonna have to talk to her then. I'm gonna have both of them distracted. This is the case where like those NPCs have visions, but the ones right next to me don't. So I should be okay to do it with the ones next to me. I also have to have both those walking NPCs distracted. Oh, we can't because we're not gonna be in like long conversations. Oh my god. I don't know how they expect you to do this then. There has to be a mechanic to the game that I don't know about, where you can do shit like this. Because again, there's invisibility, but the second you interact with something while invisible, you get seen. So like, how the fuck do I dig this up in broad daylight? This I might be able to yoink. Move it out of the way. Yeah, which then lets me take... You're being arrested for theft. If you have a defense... Okay, see, now that is another case of no one saw me do that, and yet they saw me do it. Well, that sucks. There's some hidden shit here that I just can't interact with because I don't know what mechanic I can <laughs> do this shit in broad daylight with.
Unless we like run through town at some point, like at night or something. If there's like a second part of the act where we do everything at night and people like in different locations. I can't imagine any other way to do this. So I think it's, it's just a hole. But that should be a hole big enough when you climb in. Um, I will say that's probably just a way to sneak into whatever building this is. So that might not be that important. We get in some other way. Oh, there you go. Like an arrow of darkness. That's true. Only problem is there are people right here, but I can try that. I'll think I'll do that. Because that's stuff that I just wouldn't ever use. Uh, I could do it this way. I have plenty of them. Um, let's just see what happens here. The counting nope. house. Get me to talk to you. More bastion than bank, I'm afraid. Minsk must have a way in. But he's never had much use for coin beyond whatever sharp steel it could buy. There must be something in the vaults the Great Chosen are after. All the more reason to get there. Swiftly. Do you believe he's working for the cult? I have no reason to doubt the Guildmaster's information. Only her conclusions. The Stone Lord she describes sounds nothing like Minsk. As for the name, well, a bad joke, perhaps. A time of troubles? Ended almost a century and a half ago. I weathered the years between with all the elven grace you have no doubt come to expect. But do you know how Minsk, a human, passed those years? I'll give you a hint. They named him the Beloved Ranger. You'll recall the urban myth that trickled through the lower city fest halls some years back. A hero who had been turned into a statue, returning to life in the city's hour of need. Well, that fits the name. Yeah, Stone Lord, little on the nose. Yeah, for Minsk it is downright subtle. He shrugged at the whole affair. I still don't know how he came to be petrified. I don't even know how he was freed. Harper work would take me from the city, sometimes for years at a time. The few occasions I visited his monument well, I took it as a moment for reflection, to think of old friends, and the fight I had to continue in their name. And during all my self-serious brooding, that big, dumb, insufferable buffoon was staring me in the face. You have to admit, that's a little funny. Ha! Huh, that was Minsk's feeling too. Perhaps I shouldn't be working so hard to bring you two together. Alright, well that was cool, but didn't mean to do that. Let's see how this works. Okay. Get this to fucking move. Oh god damn it. Okay, good. Thankfully it stops, so we're good. Oh no, now I have to fucking loot this. Motherfucker. Out of sight. Out of mind. Alright, I think we're good. Make sure no one comes up to me. Alright. Well there we go. I learned that. I mean, now that you said it, I actually knew that. I just never use arrows and scrolls or anything. Uh so that wasn't even really worth it. Although these are this is a spell I've never heard of, Otto's Irresistible Dance. I'm just never going to use it, but still. Attackers have advantage, the dancer has disadvantage, so it's basically the same as blind. But it's a wisdom save, yo, that's awesome. It's a wisdom save blind. Alright. Uh, so again, I'm going to assume this is a way to sneak into the building there. I don't need to do that at the moment. Plus, they can't get in there. They could just be me. I guess I'll save and find out. Fuck it. That should be big enough for like a gnome or something to fit through. Path lies before me. Yep. Something 
There's a ladder. Fuck it. Might as well loot it while I'm here. I don't know what was highlighted by the uh, thing. I think it was the hole. It highlighted the hole that I just came out of, I think. No traps or anything. We need to get all the crafting stuff. Blood bank. Alright, well, whenever we go in that building, which should be soon. Because I know I've been down here. If it's like hard to get down the stairs or something. Anything else, though? Okay. Alright. Insane down there. Okay, so mummy's memories. Some mortals might wonder why a mummy lord would abandon subterranean crypt. Traded in for a ramshackle waterfront house. Some mortals might be morons. A new career as a high-priced, exclusive mystic consultant to the wealthy upper city. So, yeah, this is a mummy's house. What was Carrion doing there? All right, a secret lair. What was Carrion doing there? Speaking of, there's actually mystic Carrion speaking somewhere around here, up there maybe. Okay, so Carrion's a mummy. The work is never done. The hero at home. Okay. Alright, so Look at the map, it's now going into here. He's sick and likely to die. Please. That might be worth a look. Now this one's not necessarily stealing, interestingly. Oh, that is All right, so in here. Druid. Behold, this tree is plagued by pestilence yet refuses to die. The goddess Shontia wishes me to save it. I can feel it. Alright, so this is... No one obviously can see. We'll sneak on it. Just do a quick one just in case someone happens to walk by. Alright, we'll re-roll. Don't you turn to me. Good. Mummy's house. Uh, I hear, I hear something. I think it's either in there or upstairs. Oh, 
I think it's talking to me. Oh, there. Swift as my feet can Mommy carry needs me. help. You do not have an appointment. Yet you seek an audience with Mr. Carrion. Ah, yes. You were drawn to me. A wanderer bearing the scent of death. Oh. You are familiar with the necromancy of Fae. I am. I have heard the spirits whisper its name. Few books have the power to send a shiver through the living and the dead. Tell me, what did you make of its contents? Okay, so this is the necromancy of fate. I think we got in Act 1. I still have. It gave me some powers already. Ooh, an actual merchant. Uh, let the undead blanch with fear. Undead have disadvantage. And you have advantage on saving throws. All right, I don't really care. Um, the wearer gains plus one to spell DC. And when dealing necrotic damage, they deal one more. That's pretty good for Jahera. While imbued with symbiotic entity. Oh, I didn't read the thing. Yeah, this is a spore keeper. That's literally Jahira's class. So while she's imbued, she also can spread spores. Uh, does damage create a cloud? So it looks like an, yeah, it's a two meter AOE. Another two meter AOE that befuddles, confuses them, and then haste. As a bonus action, yo! That's really nice. Um, she would lose one initiative. More importantly, she would lose two AC, which I really need AC for her somehow. She has the cloak, which makes enemies have disadvantage against her, so that would help with her low AC. Now, she's not spellcasting too much, but when she does, she'd have plus one. More importantly, it adds one extra damage to all of her attacks, and it gives her these buff things. Haste sounds awesome. I gotta see how often you can cast that, though. Either way, that's a yes, but still. Oh, wait! It's light armor! Oh, wait, no, because that's right. This armor didn't have, uh, like, a, a dex restriction, so she still loses two AC. But otherwise, she gets potentially some good shit. Okay. Plus two DC and spell attack rolls. That's also good for anyone. I mean, for Gale, obviously, we'll just buy that. Okay. So that's some interesting shit. I gotta see those abilities, though. So, the uh, Necromancy of Thay. I haven't finished it. Somehow I cannot decipher the final pages. Is that so? Then the book's protections must be broken before its true nature can be understood. But wait. My spirit stir. Our conversation appears to have. Oh, I wanted to put the armor on her. Them. Please let me do this. I have a message for you. A most valuable one. I can summon them forth if you are willing to offer them suitable recompense. Just in case they fight me, I want to put that armor on and see what this is about. Sounds like they're going to be summoned and attack me. <laughs> so I'm paying to have them attack me, but still. Uh, let's see here. So yeah, she's going to drop to 18 AC. Ugh. Fuck, dude. But let's see. First of all, what's it look like? That's fitting for her. I mean, the branch. I mean, obviously, as a spore thing, that fits for that. But for her character, I don't even really want the branch here. But other than that, it's fitting for her. It doesn't look out of place. More so, where are these abilities at? Where the hell did they put them? Oh, why doesn't she have the... Uh... Oh, she lost her symbiotic entity. Oh man. 
All right, well, I'll just short rest and we'll reload the save. I want to see what these abilities are. Okay, I have to wait till we're out of a conversation. Fuck! I just want to see what these abilities are, goddammit. I really could have sworn she had more than one wild shape for rest. Maybe it's at the final level she gets it? Let me look. Druid. Wait to tell you how many wild shapes they get. There's nothing about wild shape here, so maybe you, you only ever get one. Wild shape. Yeah, I can't find anywhere if they tell you to get more than one, so maybe you do only ever get that. Damn, that's it's all because of that explosive that fucking tore out all of that the one time. I really wanted that up to see it. Alright. God damn it. Cause I, I I can't believe you can use this every turn. This sounds insane to be able to use haste as a bonus action every turn. There's no way that that's what happens here. Because there have been some items where they incorrectly, like, don't tell you if it's once per long rest or whatever. Very few, but there are some. There's no way, because this, this would be OP. This would be amazingly OP if you could just cast haste. An AoE haste every turn. There's just no way that happens. Alright, so I gotta wait until we're out. Alright, well, for now. That back on her then. Alright, so we have people that want to uh, talk to me. I have to pay to summon them. Can you elaborate on the summoning? Is it safe? Safety is a concept immaterial to the spectral planes. It is sufficient to say. You will not be harmed. I can always fight back if I am fine here. Spirits! Mystic Carrion calls on you! Come forth! Listen! Obey! They are here! Yes! They know of the necromancy of Fae! They fear it! They do not want its power. Release! Just a card. The game. The book must remain sealed. Hmm. I got deception, intimidation, persuasion. I want to deceive or persuade what sounds better. Fear not, my interests are purely academic. Or, the interests are only for the living, so you'll be safe. Um, deception. Fear not, spirits. My interests in the book are purely academic.
Okay, and what is this codex? A necromantic grimoire of some repute, mostly ill. There is a place. Sorcerer Sundries. That's where we gotta go with Gale. It is the closest to a necromantic emporium this city has to offer. If a copy of the Tharkiet Codex has entered this city, it will rest on their shelves. Be warned. The necromancy of Thay is not a book for idle study. I share my spirit's concerns about your aptitude for such knowledge. It's yes. purely academic. And further education on the subject would cost far more than you are able to pay. Now, unless you have any further business with me, I think this consultation has reached its end. Well, is there anything I can do for you? Yes. My spirit star. They think you might be capable. Very well. You may help me with a small matter. I have an assistant, Thrombo. We know Thrombo. A conduit I used to maintain my connections with the ethereal plane. And He's literally like three houses down. He has deserted his duties. He has not gone far, but given the sensitivity of his nature, I would prefer that he is not free to roam the city. Return Thrombo's body to me, and I will see that you are suitably compensated. Hmm. This will be have to, something I actually have to think about. Tell me why he ran first. It's quite simple. He resented having to work for a living. <laughs> the undead can be rather lazy in that regard. He was always a simple, contented creature. A beggar to the bone. Perhaps he has forgotten how ungenerous the world can be, or simply prefers to live in the gutter. If he does not value the gift I gave in reanimating that wretched flesh of his, then I will take it back. It is my property, not his. might be able to help for a fee i am more than able to offer you suitable recompense for such a task an item perhaps mm -hmm. one that resonates with your spiritual energies the spirits will help me no, that's intriguing more than just money you might give me like a really good item but again i have to see about the rumbo must Bring back Thrombo's body. All right, you got a deal. Then, with the spirits here in our witnesses, the arrangement is made. Three others escaped with him, though they lack even Thrombo's mode of Are these the undead that I've been running they into? Can no doubt okay. Point you in his direction. I already know where Thrombo is. Uh, we've got Olmar. Alright, so this is just gonna be a quick test to see how this works. So, short rest. Our non symbiotic entity. Okay, these are her abilities right here. Um. Okay, it's once per long rest. See, that makes more sense. Still insane. So she has a small AoE haste as a bonus action. It does look like it only lasts one turn, though. Still really good, but... Mm. Then she has the damage dealing ones. They're both uh, attack rolls. This has a con save. Huh. I'm actually torn because I mean, don't get me wrong, the haste is amazing and even having some small AoEs is nice. The thing is, again, this probably does, you know, 
it doesn't let her to get multiple attacks out. So as the damage is so low, it would be better for her to get melee attacks anyway, so these two aren't really worth it. It really is the haste. So a small AoE haste once per long rest. I don't think that's worth it. I mean, it's only 2 AC, but still, as amazing as haste would be, it's 2 AC and initiative. I think for now, I'd still rather keep her current armor. It's going to be a great option to have. I might test it off stream just to fuck around. But damn, I don't think the armor of the Spore Keeper is what I'm actually going to be using for her. All right. Well, while I reload that save, uh, I'm going to go to the bathroom and then we will continue.
Alright, so we'll explore here. An area out of the room back there. Interesting. That might be where you... That doesn't line up with the ladder from below. No way. So this is all stealing. Can we talk to you? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, that's Jahira talking. God damn it. That thing is big. How many die today? Mm -hmm. How many die tomorrow? You carry strange tidings. Strange. Yeah, take that. All right. I got upstairs. Allowed up here? Looks like we're fine. Not allowed up. Must go down. Customers downstairs. Oh, right now it's not attacking us, at least. Evil, evil, evil. Best be on my way. There are multiple boys here. I do this quick. Okay, save. Better be cautious. Oh, here's a pile of corpses. Well, who would have guessed that the mummy and all of his Dead friends might not be up to the best. I don't think I can sneak up any further, honestly. Father carrying my ass. You're nothing but a scam artist. Say so you're a necessary evil. To talk to loved ones. I'd say you're just plain evil. Why? Very strange tidings. Is it because I stole the note? I think no matter what, I'm not gonna be able to get it up top. It's fine. I'm gonna try. Seems like I can't really do that. Yeah, we know we're uh Rumbo, whatever it is, we just saw them at the docks. I don't know. I might get a good reward here, but like, <laughs> obviously, I don't know about this guy. Let's see if they freak out. They probably will. Or I see all the people walking up here. There's no way I can sneak up. Yeah, see, they're all yelling at me. No way. I can't even see like what's up here. Yeah. Not allowed. Okay, All right, that's fine. Okay, so oh, I see. So this is how you go downstairs in the basement, which thankfully I already went in. I wonder if there was anything in that uh, mummy report that hinted at ways to kill him. It didn't sound like it, uh, from what I remember from it. We found out he was a mummy. Ironically enough, we sold him his own uh, journal. Doesn't matter because technically, video game wise, reading it. Gives us stuff if we needed it. Roleplay wise, I don't remember. I mean, roleplay wise, I would remember. <laughs> Real life wise, um, there was nothing about it. Just that you know, he wanted to come here and do shit. Time right. to Fine. Well, let's go to Thrumbo. Please. 
Look at this, we, we completed a small section. Hell yeah. We'll beat this game in no time, surely. Alright, guidance. Don't waste a step. I, I told you already, this spot's taken. I came to find you. Mystic Karen is very keen that I bring you home. Mystic Karen? You're working for him? Oh no. No, no. I knew he wouldn't let us leave in peace. You don't have to help him. He's the one you should be after, not me. I'd end up working for him. Not by choice. Me and my friends, we were beggars. Used to sleep down near the docks when the fists were on patrol. Carrion found us down there. He murdered us. Made us like this. Monsters. Fit for gutting and, and grinding and, and desecrating the dead. He constantly abuses us. Makes us do the, the worst things you can imagine. There used to be five of us. My friend Dallas, he couldn't take it anymore. One day, I saw him drive a coffin nail right through Carrion's skull. Then another, and another. We thought he had done it. Freed us all. Then when dawn came, Talus seized up suddenly like something had got a grip of him. We ran to help, but he just exploded. I got so much blood and, and pulp in my eyes. When I look back, Carrion was just stood there, completely unharmed. All right, well, I guess we're gonna have to take out Carrion then. So much for whatever item that would be. We'd have to stop him resurrecting somehow. But I don't know how. Oh. Since Talus died, I've been watching Carrion. Trying to figure out his secret and yeah, so I'm sure the uh, journal I told us specifically where what I tomb he came from. So we have to go to that tomb. Okay. Interesting. There's no options for me to say I already know this. All right. Uh, so a mummy lord is. It's an ancient evil being who refused to die, who cannot die. I used to hear about them in stories, and I can't think of another explanation. After Talus died, Carrion blindfolded me and took me into a strange place. A foul and ancient place. Somewhere the living wouldn't dare to tread. Down there, he showed me a jar. Said it contained the secret to eternal life. And if I behave... Why would he show you that, he though? Share it with me. I, He's a dumbass. I think it was his heart. I'm not stupid. I know what he did to my friend. Gods, how I'd love to smash that bastard jar. That's how you kill mummy lords, you know. I'll find it and destroy it. Where do I start? I'm not sure. But in the house, beneath Carrion Salon, there's a chamber. I'll read the well, quest log, see if it like updated there, so it for me already having read it. Be hiding something important. Otherwise, I gotta buy it back Perhaps from him and reread it. But be careful if you return to Carrion. Oh you fuck! Know you spoke to me. Well, that's okay. Make sure if worse comes to worse, again, I have that cheat engine that can spawn the book back in. But the journal should have it updated. I sent you. I don't want to die like Talis did. I want to live. Well. You know what I mean. All right, let's see. Uh, 
Uh, if we find his lair, better luck finding it in the sewers. Uh, it's not saying anything specifically about the journal. Any info that I may or may not have gotten from the journal. Um, Do what must be done. I'm gonna first just look in the wiki for this quest line to see if there's even an entry about this. And if there is, then I'll spawn in the book. Because again, we already read the book, we had the book, I sold it to the guy. But we can't go back to the guy to get the book back, so that's like a video game issue, if it's an issue at all. Uh, but maybe there's not like a quest log specifically for that, because I, I know we read it. Uh, so this is called... End Mysticarian's Immortality. Let me just see, we're at... Investigate the Mansion. Nope. Find the basement. Okay, yeah, so... Oh, good, explore the basement. Bam. Okay, explore the basement's good. Find the uh, basement's good. We should look for information about his experiments. So I can go back down there then. Maybe. But I just want to see, is there anything specifically mentioned about the journal? Uh... I'm not seeing the journal mentioned anywhere, so I'll go back down there, but... Looks like I'm not seeing... Yeah. I think we're good here. Let's search journal. Nothing about the journal. So I'll verify by going back into the basement, but we're good. I don't have to deal with the journal. Otherwise it's in the sewers, which again, seems like a lot of things are going to be in the sewers. Uh, it's actually over here. Again, uh, found his secret basement. We should look for information. Considering it's like checked off, it kind of seems like we're done, even though it didn't tell us we found any kind of information. But again, that might be like right here somewhere in the sewers. So I'm sure the journal. Let me look that up on the wiki. I'm sure the book is actually in the wiki. That's kind of what it's called. Is it called just Journal of. No. Maybe if I click on Mystic Carrion himself, maybe that page will have the. Uh, Journal. Journal? No. <laughs> I want to know what the journal says. Let me just Google Mystic Carrion Journal. So that's probably all it was. Was that like the journal hinted at uh, it being in the sewers? God damn it, there's nothing on this journal. Alright, fuck you, game. I know what to do. I'm gonna save. We're going to reload the save from when I had the journal, reread it really quickly. But I think I don't even have to go back in the basement. I think the journal just is why we're able to guess that we can go into the um, sewers. That's all. So again, technically doing things out of order, but also the game, assuming this is right, totally fine with it. They've done a phenomenal job of not allowing you to break quests by doing steps out of order. And again, I can't emphasize emphasize enough like how insanely difficult that is to code like just having things just update for something you've already done it's so good for a game that's open like this like there are games that are linear that you can still do things slightly out of order and it just fucks up everything because the devs just don't account for it a game this open where you can do anything in any order most of the time that's crazy all right so let me see here um a subterranean crypt. No, so there's nothing in this anyway. Um, so that's all we have is a subterranean crypt. So maybe that's why he was saying sewers, but good. No need to go back to the uh, thing to verify anything. All that's good. And I could have guessed that just by looking at the journal, but I wanted to 100% verify it. Sweet. All right, I am shocked that this guy is not a good guy. Who would have guessed from all the corpses that we found? Oh, Mummy Lord. Again, I don't know D&D, &D, but holy shit, there's Mummy Lords. All right. Um, so... We can go up here to find the tome for the necromancy thing. And I can keep sweeping north just to bang out this section here. Um, so again, in the sewers, I already have 
I mean, we have to go there right now, but there, I think there's like two or three other things, but again, I feel like the sewers have so much shit to them. I want to save it for a little bit later. Definitely before we do the uh, Steel Watch stuff, but maybe I do everything else first. I honestly don't know. <sighs> Although there might be vampires in the sewers too, to be fair. So I might do the sewers before the vampire thing for Asterion, but I don't know. I mean, obviously... I will do the Asterion thing almost last. If I find all the vampires first, that's great, then I do the Asterion thing. If I do all this and don't find the vampires, then I'll do the sewers, then Asterion. So again, there's an order of operations in my head that I want to do stuff. And I'm not sure if it's really timed, but it does sound like getting this done quickly is important, so I might want to rush to that. I'm assuming it's more so timed by long rest, so we shouldn't long rest before doing that. Um, say Vanra, maybe that also. As long as we're not long resting. But yeah, I'll finish sweeping here, and then maybe we'll just start going down here so I can bang this out quick and go up there. But again, very last Steel Watch. Second to last vampire, as long as I found all the vampires. And that's where we'll decide when we do the sewers before or after this, and then everything else I'm hoping we can just do whenever. Okay. Have to keep going. Just talking to myself, really, to get a rough idea of what I want to do. Alright, go through here and go up that way. Just to see this side of the map. Church. Oh, this is the library, so I gotta take Gale here then. Ooh, merchant. And it's a blacksmith. Oh, okay. Reminds me, Damon should be somewhere around here. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, fuck yeah. Armor and weapons. Okay. Shadowheart, you're in my way. Need something for defense? Or maybe offense? Either way, I've got what you need. Come on, move. Uh, I haven't switched my bow in forever, dude. Holy shit, I really want a new bow. Um, it's a crit bow, so it's gonna be one less damage. But now that would lower my crit to 17 I'd have to roll. And then the wielder doubles the proficiency bonus when rolling attacks with this weapon. Oh my god. Yes. So I lose out one damage, but then I have insanely high hit chance. And keep increasing my crit chance to 17 now. That is insane. Hell yeah. Yoink. Sadly, no one's using one-handed strength weapons, but... Depending on what type of damage this weapon does, it also inflicts acid, chilled, or burning. Oh, and then you uh, put that on it. Once per long rest, gives it plus one to attack rolls and additional 1d4 of that. That's really nice. It's just, again, we don't have anyone who's a one-handed strength build. Which I was thinking about this, this morning, actually. So my evil playthrough, we're going to have... Um, Asterion be a monk rogue. I'm not sure if I'm going um, barehanded or melee. Because I'm not sure. I, I remember like reading... I, I, I think Tavern Brawler is going to work with barehanded. But I'm not sure if Tavern Brawler works specifically with monk using monk weapons. I don't know. But like I would really like to have a someone who uses one-handed weapons as strength. It's just dex is so important in this game because of uh, initiative. But I'm not using any one-handed strength weapons because nobody can use them. Like, if, I, if anyone's a strength build, like a Lazel or something, they're two-handing. Like, ugh. But this is a good weapon, man. This is a really good weapon. Made him Assassin? Yeah, see, I, I, when I'm going to do it, I, I don't want to, like, kind of use the same builds that I'm doing for my stuff. Even though it's still going to be a little bit different. Um, but, I mean, my character is a Gloomstalker Assassin, so I want to do something completely different. Like, I, I don't want to have the same builds I'm doing in this playthrough. Um, but man, this weapon's really good. Like, really good. Because it's going to be a plus 2, essentially. And then 1d4 extra, and it... Oh my god, and doing acid would be insane. 
Reducing AC by two per hit. Yo, this would be just insane. Oh my god, it's gonna be so cool. Playing Divinity Original Sin 1. Nice. Really fun time. Um, the Original Sin games are easily one of my favorite games ever. And it's the reason why I think Larian was number one studio. And then obviously 2 came out, and now this came out, continuing to confirm that. Uh, yeah, there's a lot to do in Divinity Original Sin. And you get to see like everything, how they just have all these elements mixed together, all of the openness of like different ways to play. Awesome time. Alright, that weapon is insane. Sadly, no one's using it. Uh, these are just generics. Okay. Alright. Well, that's cool. My weapons won't be beat. Tell your friends. Hell, tell your enemies if you like. Alright, so now my crit range is all the way down to 17. Uh, ooh, but I... Why do I drop my attack bonus so low? Why is that worse? I don't know. Just trying to look at all the things and then I'm going to compare it. It might be like the roll bonus and stuff, which I don't know what that means. It is the roll bonus. So I think roll bonus is just random, so I can't really compare that. Because um, this changes every time you attack. So everything else. 4, 2, 5. 4, 4, 2, 4. 4, 2, 5, 4. Yeah. That's what it is. Because this has the extra proficiency on it. From Keen Attack. So that's all it is. Yeah, so we're good. So this is actually just going to be a plus 4. As it should be. Just making sure. Damage is obviously one less. Well, one less on the high end. One more on the low end. But obviously now my crit is going to be down to 17. Which is just nuts. Okay. Cool. Uh, so someone else can get the Herald. Is anyone not dual wielding? Defender of the people. Will? He's not using this ability. Let's get going. I can give it to Will. Uh, otherwise, my other companions. Asterian's dual wielding. Karlak is throwing. Doesn't matter. I don't know if Gale's proficient in this. Halson's fine. So it's Lazel. So it's either Lazel, Gale, who I don't think is efficient, or Will. Uh, the pride of the gate. I'll give it to Will. Fuck it. It's fine. Yeah, it's not gonna matter. We just happened to use range for the first time for him, but otherwise it's good. Alright, awesome. And the bow just fits the vibe more so than the uh, crossbow, honestly. Oh yeah. Dude, this is insane. It might get better. Let's see what armor you have. Give me something good. Gloomy. Hey, I'm a gloom stalker, Gloomy. You in need of protection. I stalk friend. you, bud. What am I saying? Everyone's in need of protection. Don't be shy. This armor can't keep you alive if it's sitting here with me. A uh, gorgeous maroon dye. Medium armor. Uh, so it's another full dex one, which is great. That's fine, because everyone has high dex. So someone can use that. I don't know who. Uh, let's just say, for me, I actually lose one because this ability is giving me two more AC. So technically it's 18. Of course, if I lose concentration, okay. But otherwise, we'll just, just say, technically, 18 AC. Um, it gives saving throws, which I don't really need. Okay, she's not swapping hers. Will is using heavy, um, but he's at 18 dex, which is 4, which puts that at 21 AC versus 19. Uh, so he'd get 2 more AC. He would not have uh, disadvantage on sneak. 
Uh, he does saving throws. He loses the damage bonus. So it would definitely work on Will, but we just got to, done discussing Jahira. And I think it's going to be better on Jahira. Because she needs the AC to keep her temporary thing up, which then keeps her doing extra damage. So this would give her two more AC and initiative. So no matter what we're buying it, it's just that whether it's Jahira or Will. And for now, I'm going to go with Jahira. Now that means Will could theoretically take that. That would put him at 19 AC, which he's already at. So he either can wear something that has one initiative or something that reduces two damage. This is a great spell I've never used yet, but it numbs a target, um, which gives advantage, which he doesn't really need. So we'll have to see. But either way, we're definitely buying it. I think we're going to buy it for her. I'm not sure she needs the initiative. We'll find out. So I'm going to buy it. And then for now, let's keep it on her, but whoever gets it, gets it. Okay. Uh, shield. No. 20. So that's going to be one more AC for him. He does lose the two damage reduction. Hmm. Wish it had something. Oh no, two less damage from physical. So he loses two damage reduction to magic stuff, but still gets two damage reduction to physical. That might be worth a buy, I don't know, just for generic whatever. Um, did any of these die? Alright, um... Is that worth it for one more AC? I swear I have pl Oh no, I have plate armor plus one, I think. Oh fuck it. I'll buy the plate armor plus two. Just for a whole one more AC. We don't really lose much, just the magic resist potentially for two extra damage. Sure. Okay. Truth be told. I wear chainmail to bed these days. Oh, I've heard too many stories to take any chances. Okay. Sounds super comfortable. Alright, we'll have to keep that there. See what it looks like? Because obviously this fits, you know, his horns, but doesn't actually fit his theme. Not that it matters, but still the armor visually didn't fit his theme. I think this definitely will. That much more fits his theme. Um, again, doesn't matter, but all right. For now, we'll do that. Work to be done. And then for her, let's see what this looks like. Okay. I do feel like she's more of like a leather armor person. Again, I don't really know her from the first two games since I didn't play it, but still. Oh well, it's fine. At least is now at 22 AC. Much better. And unfortunately, she did lose her symbiotic entity. I got a short rest before we can pop it back up. But that should help her not lose it again. Because again, it's going to allow me to do double damage with this, as well as adding plus 1 to 6 to each attack, which she has 3 attacks per turn. So that's a lot of damage lost by not having this up right now. Alright. Alright. Now. Cool. Light on my feet. So today alone, I uh, increased my crit range by two. I went from 19 to 17. What is this? Seems like a good moment to talk. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, the verily, uh, behold and stuff. Just like Astando the Greater says. You're Astando the Flesser, okay. <laughs> Great, isn't it? These are just cantrips. I can keep this up all day. I guess he is casting cantrip magic, okay. Another merchant here. Oh, he's just a paper salesman. 
the sacred illuminations of the mysterious ancients. Back off, Chop. You're too close. Do you want to lose your eyebrows? Come get your copy of the Baldur's Mouth Gazette. When the mouth speaks, the city shakes. All right there, Chief. Can I interest you in a copy of our Let's buy our fourth copy of the newspaper. Because <laughs> I can't resist. Have a gander at that. Come back tomorrow if you fancy fresh news. All the same one, yeah. But still. Alright, uh, so where am I? We're here. So again, I think this is the place I have to take Gale. What the fuck? Clank? Animated armor. I guess that makes sense. Okay. Ratchet must be nearby. Um, so, if this is in fact the tome area, um, we're taking Gale. Is there any reason to keep Chihira here? Because these quests are for the necromancy thing and for Gale's thing. I think we're fine swapping out Jahira. Although it's really Jahira or Will. They're both now like really good. Before Will was like, oh, I don't want to swap them out. But now they're both doing really good damage. But it's, it's Jahira because she doesn't have her thing up. Okay. That makes sense. I did level up Gale off stream just because his is just straightforward. Just picking spells. So I don't have to waste the time, which is good, because I actually took the longest figuring out what spells I wanted to give him. <laughs> but he's just a straight, uh, whatever class he is, wizard or sorcerer, I don't remember what class his default one is, but he's his default class. Where's Jahira on this map? Over here? Nope, she's down here, of course. There she is. That's for short rest, okay. Um, even though we're only swapping out for a little bit, there's nothing I want to give Gale, obviously. And that's also why I gave Gale armor and shit, so I don't have to waste time doing this on stream. Yep, because he's not going to be using the throwables. We've never used the throwables, so... Uh, I look forward to the Oop, day we show Oops. the Archduke that his tongue is not half so silvered as he thinks. As do I. He's protected by his steel watch for now. Yeah. And Orin will have her own defenses, should we choose to play the part of Gortash's bloodhounds. We cannot expect either of the chosen to fall easily. Yeah. But fall they must, if we are to have all three stones to command the brain. I have a plan. We will Still, disable the watch. If you see making an alliance, I won't question it. I'll just look forward to the inevitable breaking Gortash spoke of. Awesome. So unlike Karlak, or at least in the beginning of the game, failed to realize when I lied to people, Jahira understands that yes, I can tell him we'll ally with each other and then break that alliance. You're sure? Alright, uh you are up here. step forward. Sounds like we're not the only ones tracking down this Minsk fellow. Let's hope Nine Fingers' bounty doesn't attract too much competition. With all right, uh, just because he has one level, we'll do it. I'm sure I didn't write anything down for this. He's just going pure wizard. Um, Gale. Oh, I did write shit down. Oh, I, went, I did his entire build. Although this was before I, I changed it in terms of the spells I took. But technically, I said I'd be taking Disintegrate and Globe of Invulnerability. That changed once I started playing the game. We'll just see really quickly. Um, so we get to level 6 spells. Let's see. Arcane Gate. Chain Lightning sounds dope. Circle of Death. Sculpt a massive sphere of entropic energy around the creature. Devastate target and all surrounding creatures. Con save for half damage. It doesn't say how big the radius is around it. That's interesting. Great undead. Disintegrate. This is one I chose. Um, 
So it does 50 to 100 damage, and if it kills them, it disintegrates them to ash. So it's just like the fallout uh, thingy. Uh, but yes, it's stupid fuck you single target damage. It is a dex save though. But he has 18 int, so it should be a relatively high save. But people could make that. So this is a great single target. Chain Lightning is going to be great AoE. Circle of Death has potential, but I'd probably still take those two instead. Eye Bite. Your eyes become black corridors while in your teeth. Yeah, what does it actually do? You may cast Eye Bite. What does it do? It says Eye Bite like, lets you cast Eye Bite. What the fuck is Eye Bite? Oh, okay, it looks like you're able to inflict dread, sickness, or sleep. So I'm guessing it gives you spells to cast. Okay. Restrain someone. There's the Globe of Invulnerability that I thought would be pretty nice. Just having a nice immunity dome. Um, but I don't think I need that. Create a ball of ice that can be launched instantly. Or an explosion. Oh, here's the Irresistible Dance that we have a scroll of, which is essentially a Wisdom Save Blind. Sunbeam, trash at this level. Wall of Ice, okay, so Chain Lightning for an AoE, Disintegrate for a single target. The Dance for a Blind, that's Wisdom Saving Throw, or Wall of Ice. Wall of Ice is stronger than Chain Lightning. Let me see. Strike an enemy with Lightning. Three bolts will leap from the target, electrifying other enemies. And also, it doesn't matter because he doesn't have friendly fire. That's right. Within 18 meters. It's a dex save for half the damage. This is a dex save for no damage. Hmm... I'm torn. I don't know which AoE to take. Um, do I take the single target one as well? Like, I probably should. Because the low end damage is much higher than the other ones for AoEs. So it's either be Chain Lightning or Wall of Ice and then Disintegrate. Um... I don't think he has any other like synergy with like types or whatever. I'm gonna say chain lightning. Fuck it. Uh and with his slots. This is why I do this off stream. It's taking so long just to do shit that I'm not even gonna use in the game. Uh, fuck, so he actually get a prepared slot? Damn. I guess I gotta take out Hold Monster. I'll get Chain Lightning there. So this targets four enemies. Yeah, I think that makes sense over Wall of Ice. Wall of Ice, they have to be lined up. Um, and it's an, Oh, it is Evocation, so there is no Friendly Fire, actually. So I could hit our own people and be fine. But we might slip on the ice effect. So yeah, I'd, I'd say Chain Lightning makes sense. Okay. Spoiler, we're never going to use these spells. Because we're probably not going to get any fights with him. But now if we did, it's at least <laughs> there. Uh, level 6. Bam. And that's it. Okay. Good. No time to rest. And now we leave. What's up for discussion? Let me back in. I'll bring Laroakin out here, you tin tube. You tell Laroakin I went for his goddamn night song, and now he has to pay up. Oh. What are you looking at? This relates to the night song too. What the hell? Shit, it's you. You went looking for the night song after me. 
Please tell me you found it. So this is tied to two companion quests. Surprisingly, the Fallen Paladin has a lot of skills that are enemy creatures. Yeah, I um, when I was looking into it, because again, I made Will a uh, Paladin, um, I was looking into some of the um, skills, and I was debating between doing that, because there are a lot of good things um, for the Paladin. It is really, really fun. I'm still sticking with his, whatever I chose, the Ancients one. Um, but yeah, there were some really cool things, cause, which is great, because like, you would think with any other game, like, oh, you dishonored your oath, you are now an oath breaker. It's like, oh man, I probably lose out on skills. No, it's literally just a whole other subclass of Paladin with its own other skill sets, which are like really fucking awesome oriented, like damage dealing skills and shit, um, which is great. I mean, it's just so cool that like, even though technically you've, you've failed your class, it actually opens up a whole new subclass fully realized. Which sounds basic and obvious, but like, again, other games wouldn't do that. They would take things away because you oath break, but not this game and not D&D. Um, anyway. No, I, I didn't find my song at all. Not at all. You lost fewer people along the way than I did. Bloody goblins. Larokin should have warned us. If she's out there, I'm gonna find her. You mark my words. But why was he looking for her here? This might be the wizard, uh that he was speaking of. So again, this is weird where Gale told us to come here and we've gotten this dialogue twice already. No. It's just not updating his journal. How can I help? Or whatever. Alright, we're not going to pass this check, but let me try to examine it. Alright. Whatever magic powers the armor is beyond your knowledge. Um... Mind of a head side? Alright. Kirk it is. Hello? It was a time I tussled I'm with sure hill giants without know. breaking a sweat. It's not a now, a mere werebear could swap me halfway to arm. Strange things are happening to us. Festers in our minds may well impel our bodies. Okay, well this is clearly mage area. Uh, okay, we even have a magical dummy. Oh, Roland! Oh shit, Roland's here! Right. What are you doing here? Um, I know I'm beating when I see one. Who knocked you about? Nothing for you to worry about. His voice catches. Something's wrong here. Uh oh. <clears throat> but never mind that. What can I do for you? That's not good. Uh, cantrips that cost an action cost a bonus action instead. Oh, it's only once per short rest. But still, that'd be insane for Will. Because he can get three attacks out and then use his Eldritch Blast. That's only once per short rest. Obviously, it'd be great for Gale. Since I'm sure his gloves, I mean, his gloves give him defense, which is needed because he has low AC. These are cheap enough, so I guess I'll just buy them anyway. But that's right, he's using gloves because he needs the dex, because he needs initiative. 
if there is other initiative gear, specifically amulets, and see, like, there's just no good amulets. If there's, like, an amulet gear with initiative, he, he would definitely use that. But unfortunately, he needs the dex to get to 18 just for the plus initiative there. But this would be really interesting. It's just, again, once per short rest, it's totally fine. Um, but okay, we'll buy that. For now, I'll give it to Gale. Ring. At the beginning of your turn, the ring heals you. Uh, clothing. Whenever the wearer succeeds a saving throw, they get healed. Wearer can use a reaction to make an unarmed strike. Now, it does give 2 AC. So that's actually 12 AC. Um, but he loses the DC to his spells. I don't care about the effect. The 2 AC versus the 1 spell save. What's this one? Uh, that also gives 1 spell save. Uh, when starting your turn on plant growth or vine surface, you heal. Doesn't really matter. It gives you the plant growth. Is there anything on him? Is there a reason I'd use clothing over light armor for him? Because otherwise this is an obvious upgrade. Um, like he has nothing that's specially saying when not wearing armor. Okay, well then we'll just buy the armor for him. Fuck it, that just gives him three extra AC. And he keeps the bonuses he already had. Sure, now we're buying shit for someone I'm not going to use. But, you know, whatever. It's fine. Uh, plus two charisma. That would be for Will. The thing is, he's getting much more damage from that than he's getting from the plus two charisma. Um, so that's not needed. Uh, quarterstaff. It gives you spiritual weapon to cast at level six. Oh shit, so it's an upscaled spiritual weapon. Because, I mean, for Shadowheart, I think it's like a level two or three spell. Um, but yeah, we don't need that. Okay. Alright, so unsurprisingly, gear for the mage. Alright. Nothing for me to sell. Um, well, do you, many people ask about the night song? It's all I deal with these days. People claiming their trinkets are the real night song. Looking for the mountain of gold the rogue can promise. There's even a pamphlet. Take one. They're on the desk. Well, I have info on the night song. I mean, he should know this stuff. Be very sure before you make to visit the Roican. He's got a beastly temper. But if you really do know something, he'll want to see you. Head upstairs. You can find a way into his tower up there. Okay. And so many quests here. Oh, am I mistaken? What's the name of the uh the angel we freed? I thought she was Night Song. Night Song might have been the weapon that we got, like the spear. No, I, I could have sworn Night Song was the uh, person. Yeah, a cage lies at its base. Yeah, it was Night Song the person. Okay. Because we got the spear to stab Night Song, but the spear wasn't Night Song. I got confused for a second. Excuse me, can't stop. There's only so much shopping time left before the absolute breaches the city. Moonrise Towers lies ahead. Where Damn it. Is the How are you talking when I'm doing something? His shop is a nut of shambles. Moonrise Towers lie ahead. We're nearing the heart of the absolute. Um, are you okay, Gale? Moonrise Towers was act two, buddy. Moonrise Towers is done, bud. He might have hit his head. There's not much left. Looks like folks heard the absolute was on the march and bought everything that wasn't nailed down. Yeah. Let's look around. Oh, one moment. I'm trying to work out how many pinches of mugwort is equivalent to one of Mother's Leaf. We 
Would you mind if I finish browsing before you muscle in, please? I was here first, actually. We've more smuggled incense. Six handfuls of assorted mushrooms. Everything. Literature department. Can I help you? Um, see scrolls and books. Hunter's Guide to Hags. Nothing seems to be important here. Uh, why are you whispering? Psst. These books are sensitive. Of course. They prefer an environment of quiet reverence. I'd be interested in any especially rare tomes you might have. Huh. Bold? You might have heard that our library has a collection other shops would lack the skill to curate. Between us, even Master Leverokin was reluctant to house them in his tower. The pen is mightier than the magic wand, apparently. <laughs> They're locked away here for their and our customers' safety. Our finest reserve includes the Tharkia Codex, the Annals of Cassius and Etheries Folly, Sites of the Sealy, and the Curriculum of Strategy. Do any of those interest you? I'm not sure if this is for Gale's quest, because again, the quest, the journal didn't update. Um, I would like to know about the Tharkia Codex. Hmm. Interesting choice. If I didn't know better, I think you might have the necromancy of Thay in your possession. What? I'd advise tremendous care with the Tharkia Codex. The cost of unlocking its mysteries is onerous. Alright, and what about this Nethery's Folly? It is said to be written by Lord Cassus himself. The Netherese Arcanist, who attempted to replace the goddess Mistra, failed and was banished for the attempt. Great magical knowledge lies within those pages, but not many can withstand it. I can't explain now, but it's very yeah. important we get hold of that book. Very, very important. The annals of Carsus would no doubt have much to say about the crown's true nature. If only you could read them. Alright, guys, the updated quest. Uh, sounds perfect. How much for me to buy it from you? Buy? Books as temperamental as these are not on sale. They are secured in our vault, oh. where none can harm them, nor can they do any harm. Oh, of course. Secure. Consider yourself lucky to have learned of such a book's existence, and then forget about it. The annals of Carsus are best left unread. Okay. Alright, I can try a deception check here. I came all the way from Neverwinter to admire your collection. Couldn't I just peek into the vault? Uh, again, because I dipped into Rogue, I get plus 8 to these speech checks that I just normally wouldn't have. Oh, so good. Customers like you are why I prefer the company of books. The only way to gain access to the vault is through my office. And before you ask, no, you are not allowed in there either. Why would you tell me? Well, thank you. I've learned more than enough. <laughs> Not you evil laugh. <laughs> Even simple knowledge of these tones is enough to stimulate most. Okay. You're a fellow bargain hunter, I see. The hidden gems here are far better value than the rare books Tolna keeps locked behind the desk. Oh, there is a corpse here. And it's resurrected. Okay. 
newborn zombie gazes at you hungrily, pus drooling from its slack jaw. Apologies. I'm with a customer at the moment. Do you think that zombie looks... fresh? Is fresh good? I never know with zombies. So cool to see a game where, like, you know, there's mages and necromancy, and necromancy isn't inherently evil. They're just doing it out in the open, no one giving a shit. Have you seen how much the prices have risen? Might as well be throwing my gold straight into the lava elemental. I want a pet elemental, but Mumba says I'm not old enough. I wouldn't let it die like the goldfish, though. All right. Now we go up. Hey, wow. Better not be cursed. Welcome, dear patron, to the floor at the top of the stairs. If you have information about the night song, great riches await. If you are here to waste the great wizard Laroican's time, reconsider. Let your knowledge determine your path forward. The Night Song is a priceless ruby from a realm beyond our own. The Night Song is an immortal being, the child of a deity. All right. We're not gonna do that yet. We're gonna finish looking around here. So we know that's the right answer. The Night Song is an ancient potion that allows its drinker to become irresistibly attractive to man and god alike. The Night Song is a druidic staff that allows its bearer command over an army of ancient beasts. Ooh, I can't lockpick my way into here. Huh. Well. How the fuck do I get in here, then? I don't even know who's looking. Oh, him. The projection. Oh, is he following me around? No. So if I talk to projection over here... Welcome back, dear patron. Remember that the great wizard doesn't suffer fools who waste his time. Let your knowledge deter- Alright. Then... Perfect. Hopefully this isn't one of those times where they automatically turn to look at me. That's a friendly looking shadow. Here on my own, real quick. Secrets. Better not be cursed. Yeah. Where's me to leave this? Don't waste no. a step. All right. So everyone, making sure no one to yell at us when we come in here. Stand up. Good. Nope. Okay, we got to sneak in there. That's why I saved. They can definitely do a better job of saying like when the areas are restricted, because 99% of the time, opening a locked door or whatever, once you're in there, you're fine. Who cares? Um, it's only really in Act Three here where it's happened like three or four times where there's actual restricted areas, and it makes sense. But again, the whole rest of the game, there are areas that you know theoretically are restricted. They're behind locked doors. But no one gives a shit when you're in there. It's only the lock picking that's bad. That's why I'm always looking out for it and saving beforehand. So all I gotta do is have each of them sneak. Wits and blades always sharp. Perfectly hidden. Need to press onward. All right, into the vault we go. Don't mind if I do. 
Uh oh. No? Okay, I thought I was like something's happening when I pick something up. I was like, they're so, gonna uh, yell at us. What's that? Good. Storage and sorting of scroll work, parchment, and tomes. There's a door there. I, ooh, okay, going near a door didn't auto save. We find that button. Where the fuck was that button at? Here. Shit, I don't know where the button. There it is. We'll do this before we go with the door. I'm sure the door might be the exit. Can't take that to here, can we? Oh, we can walk on this. Okay. I knew that. Bet I can crack that open. Red Knight's final stratagem is that from Divinity? I'm trying to remember what the... No, it's the Red Prince I'm thinking. I'm not the Red Knight. Red Prince. It's just this. is not any of the books I'm looking for. Okay. Should mind my step. Nothing else here, it seems like. Okay. What's hiding here? Can you stop clicking on doors when I'm trying to walk through them? with us. This is him uh, looking for people. Fun night song, that's all. Kind of interesting, I found that like after we were already introduced to the character that's looking for it. Hmm. I'm gonna wait to read this for tomorrow. <laughs> I wanna see what today, I wanna try to finish reading this because it sounds like this might have uh, some curses to it, judging by the description. to vaults, trespassers will be disintegrated. Master Laroican. Alright. Wonder what's past this. Very easy check.
Okay. Perception checks. For what? I don't know what for. Each door named after a wizard of renown. The annals must be behind Cassus's door. Okay. All right. Easy checks. I don't know how far this goes. Can't lock pick it though. The lever. Can we disarm all of these first, maybe? There were a lot more checks than just the three. I know I failed some. I'm not really sure what that's about. Unless it was them failing the checks. Which is possible. Just enough. Oh wait, no. More than enough. Oh, it's for the gas pit shit. Oh, okay, I see. When did they all start? He failed one perception check. Okay, so there's one perception check that I failed. Um, and it looks like Gale succeeded it for me, hopefully. And everything else, I've succeeded. So the hope is I've got everything here. Fast ones, we're doing a bunch of this. Only way I could fail is if I roll a one. Alright, good. So I think it'd be safe. Curse to put my hands on everything. Okay, but again, I don't have keys, and I can't lockpick. So we can only go into the silver hand one, it looks like. Huh. Weird. I saved the game, so that's alright. This place is more dangerous than I thought. Might be something I have to do for tomorrow because I think it might take too long for today. I'm guessing we have to go through all this to get the key to then open the other door. I just don't know. Um, none of the stuff that we picked up like tells us about this stuff. There was a book that was named this, so it might be the book. So I'm going to look up the book on the wiki just to save us time, if it's the book. Because it was also named the same place as the building. It was a blue book. I saw it because it stood out like Rack or Raz. I'm not sure which one it is. It's not Rack. It's not Raz. Fuck. Well, let me reload the last area, because that, or is it in the save slot? It's not in the save slot. But one of the doors when I walked into it or something had that name on it. I want to look up that book so we can, instead of having to like, you know, reload saves, buy the book, and do everything again, we'll pretend that we bought the book, see if that gives us the hint. But I know it's a blue book. It's the same name as something I saw here. I think it's the door I opened to get into this area that I'm at right now. It's the door right next to me.
hopefully the wiki has the book. If not, then it's like, God, I have to reload save to read the book. <laughs> uh, this, uh, Ram. Ramazith. Ramazith. Nope, there's no book. Fuck. Uh, let me just look up maybe BG3 Ramazith book. Because I don't want spoilers for this. I could have sworn the name was Ramazith, the book. Um, I'm not seeing anything about Ramazith book. Uh, what, who, who was the guy that was selling it? He's our buddy. Fuck. What's the name of the area we're in? <laughs> Fuck, I don't know. What the hell is the name of this place? God damn it. If I had any of this information, uh, maybe it's in the save. Uh, here, Sorceress Sundries. All I wanted to find is this goddamn book to see if it even tells us the information. At this point, it probably would be quicker just to reload, save, and buy the book and check. Uh, who's the NBC merchant? Roland. There's his name. Alright, fuck it. It doesn't even tell me his inventory, so we're going to reload, save, buy the book, see if the book even helps us. If it does, again, we can just pretend we bought the book and then do all this. So it's Silverhand we're going in. Obviously the name's familiar because it's Cyberpunk, but otherwise I don't think I've seen anything about Silverhand in this game. And this might be something I have to do tomorrow. I have to like look all around here to see if there's anything to steal or buy. I'll buy like all the fucking books and read them. Uh oh. Okay, so last time we had a bug like this, the game crashed. It went away. Okay. Alright, so all I want to do is buy this book. Is this even the same name or is it just similar? It's the blue one. Oh, not you. you what Must be the for. chick? The librarian, maybe? One of these merchants sold it. I should speak out. I just think we should be How can I help you? Blue one, here. Yep, see? Same name. Okay. Uh, bye. No, so this won't help me in there either. Okay. So we're in here. There's only one way to go because we don't have keys. I know where I'm supposed to go, but again, I can't go there because there's no keys. It has to be this book that we picked up. So this is the last test before I say, fuck it, we save it for tomorrow. Because either you brute force it, which obviously isn't the only solution, uh, or it's in this book. Or, since you are allowed to leave this area, again, I could go through all the books to buy. Which is why, again, I'll probably save it for tomorrow and do it off stream. But let's just read this book. I didn't want to read it because it's cursed, it says. But, right now we have no other options. No. Nothing. Quite some valuable knowledge hidden between these pages. But I gotta scroll from reading it. Okay. Summon apparitions of six master strategists. Okay. It sounds like it's basically a super souped up magic missile. Um, but that's not it either. So, again... We want to go in here. I'm assuming the lever would have set off the traps if I didn't disarm them. Light on Make sure like, there's no other things for them to detect. So I got all the things to detect. Yes. Uh, I've been everywhere here. No keys. So it really is, again, this does. brute forcing it. Or finding a book to find answers. So what did he say? Probably just talking about traps. Yeah. Um, because I have no idea who this is, so I don't know what to pick. Just pure guesses. And 
then there's a lever. <laughs> Make sure the lever sets off the traps. No. Does it dis disable the traps? Yes. Okay, just go through illusion. I don't know. Brute force it for a second. And that puts us back. Okay. Are the traps armed again? Um, they're not. That puts us in here. Now we got wild, shadow, demon. Alright, so again, I'll do it tomorrow. I have to find the solution. You can't brute force this. So I'm gonna have to go through the entire area and like the, the library. I'm gonna buy all the books. Just try to see if I have any, any kind of information on the silver hand. Any of this shit. Alright, so, fuck it. That's okay. It's fine. Um, so I'll take the time and try to find this, but man, it just gets more and more interesting. So we, we have um, the Necromancy of Fae, which we've had for a while. Uh, we've got Gale's quest here. We've got something to do with this guy who was looking for the Night Song, so why are we trying to deal with this? I don't know. Um, and then we just keep on going. There's just so much happening, and it's all awesome. Uh, massive area with things like every single building has like four different zones to them. It's great. Uh, the game is just never going to end. So strap in because who knows when the fuck I'll finally finish this.